Could be loud at all. Oh, okay. There it goes. I don't know why it suddenly magically started working, but here we are. Okay, there we go. There we go. We did it. We did it. Gwen, thank you for the resub. Camel Lambo plays. Thanks for the bits. Elbow 69. I have so many questions about some of these names, how these just came about. Why? Oh, no, you know, never, never mind. Thank you for the prime. Uh, the Chilenial, thank you for the 500 bits. Okay, so here's, here's, you know, I should probably give some context for this before we start playing this. You're probably going to lose this, the music again when I tab out of it. Yep. It's one of those games. So I'm going to actually read for you the description of the game from where you can download it. So we're both, so the, you and I both, the only two of us here are on the same page. Okay. How does that sound? Does that sound good? Sounds good. Sounds good. Actually, once again, why am I not just opening up Firefox so you can actually just see it? All right, let's click that and click that. And there, there you go. And then you see just a big empty space and okay. Excited to finally release this tribute map. Last August, I lost a good childhood friend of mine and took it pretty hard. When I was visiting my hometown for his funeral, I connected with his parents who shared with me some of his old belongings. Among them was a copy of an old map of his backed up, of his backed up on a three and a half floppy from high school. Thomas and I were into amateur doom mapping in the early, the early aughts. But I've never seen this map of his, of his prior to uncovering it on one of the old floppy disks. Just as a, as a thing, I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be a K, not a C. I think that when you use disks like that, it's... It's not supposed to be for floppy disks. As a way of paying tribute to him and all the great memories we had together, I took the plunge and installed Doom Builder in order to polish up his map and add a few modern amenities just for convenience sake. I haven't touched an editor in over 15 years, so it was quite a surprise to find out how easy mapping has become. I have gotten a little carried away with these new UDMF features, and as such, the map is designed for GZ Doom. From the text file, Doom 2, GZ Doom Hardware Renderer. One map, not much of a challenge, and roughly 10 minutes of playtime. All difficulty settings implemented. Jumping and crouching disabled. Free look is fine. Lots of doom cute. I don't know what that means. Making maps of your house was all the rage back in the day, but I feel like this is a pretty adorable and detailed tribute to my friend, and a great way to share something of him with the community we loved. Miss you, Tom. And then there's this picture. Okay, so now you have all the context. Oh shit, did I forget to turn off the rain? Or you guys, is somebody lying to me? Oh, okay, so if you're still seeing the rain, just go ahead and you might want to refresh your browser. There shouldn't still be rain. If you're still seeing rain, <laughs> refresh your browser. My god, a lot of people are still seeing the rain. I definitely turned it off. Okay, so yeah, so that's, that's, that's the setup. That's the setup. Okay. Okay. And in case anyone is curious, okay, and also let me know, for real, if the levels are not particularly great. Did I just hit, I just hit start? Okay, there we go. The way I have, since some people may be curious about how I've set this up to play, I have it set up so that it's not super duper high res. Like, I think, I think the setting itself, I turned the scaling to lowest possible scale because I felt that looked closest to the original Doom. Like, you can make it normal like this and like, I guess it looks essentially the same, but every, ignore that back there. But it's like everything's sharper, which is not a bad thing. But I kind of like the way it looks when everything is a bunch more chunky. Oh man, that gun position is like he's holding his gun directly in the middle of his chest. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is a new... <laughs> oh fuck, I forgot to change the category tonight. Hold please, I forgot to change the category. So... <laughs> So many viewers in the City Skylines 2 category. Okay. Okay. Let's see. 
I guess we'll just go to retro. I don't know where else to put us. Retro sounds good. No, let's go to Doom 2. Let's just go to all of them. Let's just do a tour of all of them. There's three different categories for Doom 2. Retro it is. That's where we're staying. Okay. Okay, I'll tab. That's nice. Thanks for the gift sub to Opalish Moth. Moth is the best. Why did you use Firefox and not Opera GX? Um, I use Firefox because I have like, I have one browser, which is Firefox, which is constantly cleansed. I guess I could use the Mulvad browser for that. But I keep it for stream, so it's like, it's never logged into anything. Yes, please. I've never seen Doom. JS Chapter, you're in for sort of a treat. This isn't like a, an accurate, necessary representation of Doom. So again, this is supposed to be the My House wad that someone made. And I'm just looking around the whole house just to see what we got here. And I do actually remember stuff like this back in the day where like I I have I have a brother who actually did a lot of a lot of Doom Doom map making back in the day. He made like a suite of like eight different deathmatch levels that to this day are all actually quite fun to play. They're like all very arena based. Because that's how Doom was. But man, I remember that back in the day and it was so much fun. And I one of them was indeed like a house that you go in and out of and has like, you know, several bedrooms in. Ow! I feel like it was the thing back in the day to try to figure out... I mean, this uses, like, additional textures and stuff, but trying to figure out how to make, like, a pool table in the game was kind of like a... was a treat to try to figure out, or, like, trying to figure out how to, like, position stuff like TVs and stuff. Uh, how's the volume? Is the music too loud? Hold on, I need to hear it. My... Give, give, give me my mouse cursor back! Help! Music is good, just a touch. Can be louder, deafening, great. I see we're on. It's high enough, it's it's good. Set music to loudest. Okay, I see we have some differing opinions. Here, I'm gonna lower it just a little bit, hold on. As soon as I can get the game to release my mouse cursor, that is. If I can get it to do that. Oh, that's right, if I hit escape, that'll do it, all right. Test, test, test. Game, please. There we go. Okay. Let's see if that's actually... Okay. Test, test, test. Test. Test, test. Test, 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 test. Test, test. Test, 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 test. Test, test. Where's Anthony? I don't know. Like, you mean this second? I can't tell you where most people are at this very second. Scantron test. Do they still do Scantron tests? I remember that in school. Sat there. I can't say I'd ever see you play any first-person shooter. You know, my friend Lala highlights this whenever, like, a lot of times when I'm talking to her. But, like, I actually play a lot of fighting games and a lot of shooters, just not for my channel. I'm not particularly good anymore at either, but I used to play a lot of them back in the day. But I do, I do love this about Doom levels when you try to put these little details in it, like a little PlayStation. Where's my dad? You see, gay. I, I don't know how to tell you this, but you gotta, you gotta join the club that some of us are in. Oh, no dad club. Oh, actually, you know what? Before we leave this space, I just want to highlight something here. What, what psychopath? Li okay, I realize that there's like differing opinions on this, but I've always thought that putting your TV like in a corner facing out to like a whole room is torture. You know what else is also torture is when people like when they position their TV and they put they like put it up here. So that when like, let's say you're sitting here, it's like you're craning your head up or it's like above the fireplace. And you put the goddamn TV above the fireplace? Who's- who wants that? Parents, that's who. Okay, okay. You're right. The same person that puts the TV up here or in the corner like this is the same person who's like, 
you know, HD doesn't look that much better. And then you look in their TV settings and it's running at like 720p. And you're like, well, there's, there's your problem. It keeps it away from kids. Okay, okay. Where does the TV belong? I would say... I would say the TV belongs, like, let's say the couch... Let's say, let's say you were sitting here, about this distance. Couch should, or like, the TV stand here, TV, like, straight, straight at eye level, right? Isn't that where the TV's supposed to be? That room is more like a sitting room. You are, uh, yeah, and that's true. That's something I often forget, is this is more like a visiting area. 13 months. That's almost a year. Hello, anger Gee, management! Enough. Anger management, I haven't mentioned this, but I actually have dropped by a couple of your streams, and I have, uh, I have enjoyed your conversations that you have with people. And it's also, it's, it's uncanny, but you look and talk just like someone that I used to work with. I had to stare for a while and try to figure out if you were that person. I don't think you are, but I really had to sit there and figure that out. You're a beautiful man, <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, anger management streams is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so we need a red card there. There must be something dodgy in the laundry room. Here's something I do, and this must be an American house, and you know how we know that, because the laundry room exists. I'm not saying that's the case with everybody that's not America. I just like it when I have, like, friends that are in, like, the UK, and they're like, Oh yeah, the washer, only the washer, never the dryer. There never is a dryer. Yeah, it's just in the kitchen. Fuck it. Which, obviously, there's nothing wrong with that. Also, I don't know if you know this, you probably know this, but I have a horrible, horrible sense of direction, so there's gonna be a lot of wandering. So let's, uh, let's hope for the best, or if, or if you s I'll, I'll let you know if I'm, if I'm... I'm gonna pay attention a little bit better this time. I didn't do any saving, so I think we're back at the beginning. I'll let you know if I need some help. How awkward. I died in a Doom level with very, very few enemies even in it. And I only put it on Ultra Nightmare. That's not even that bad. I got some help. Don't die. Okay. Okay, got it. Got it. I will use that hot tip to try to do better this time. So, <laughs> get wrecked, noob. Thanks. Okay. Okay. I think we're doing a lot better this time. One, we have a yellow key, so that's already good. Oh, uh, I mean, we probably distracted you. Opalish, that's one of the reasons I appreciate you so much, is because you have a thing called OW! Empathy. And not everyone feels that, so I appreciate it very much. But also, no, I think it was just sheer incompetence on my part, if I had to guess. Get wrecked plus nerd plus ratio. <laughs> Thank you. How about TV in a bedroom? I am of the opinion... No, this isn't fair, because I do something just as bad. I was going to say, I don't know if I, how I feel about TVs in the bedroom at all. Mostly, I think... I mean, there's the one school of thought, right? Like, if you had the the bed here, and you were looking at the TV over here... Like, you're gonna be propped up to watch TV, which is probably not great for... ...sleeping or falling asleep. But, like, I do something that's probably just as bad if you're trying not to have TV, like, when you're trying to go to sleep, since you're not supposed to have lights in your face. But, like, if I'm laying right here, and my nightstand's right here, I have a little... I have, like, a tab... I bought, like, a... like a an Amazon Fire tablet on sale, and it's on like an arm that just, it like, it's like tilted sideways staring at me while I sleep, so I can lay on my side as if I were sleeping in the sleeping pose, and I can just see it and listen to it. Then I fall asleep after about three minutes, and then I wake up and I'm being choked by my own headphones. So it's a very, it's worse than TV to be honest. I would say that's probably the case. And I every so often do, like, a little check with myself to make sure, like, can I still fall asleep without this? And I usually can, so I feel like, okay, it's fine then. Judging some dead guy... Judging some dead guy's interior decorating is tight. <laughs> Yo, that's just... Uh, game, please. 
And I don't know how I feel about the downstairs TV either. Like this is this is the one that's like in the corner like a nightmare. I guess it's not that bad. I don't know. What do we think about this setup? Excuse me, I was taking a sippy of water. Hold on. What did that say? Hold on. Hold on. I love that every time I alt tab, it's just just dead silence. The internet says you're worth 3 million, but you don't have Bluetooth. <laughs> hey. The last thing... Ugh. Oh, saving is not a bad idea. Help, oh one. Uh, I think getting a crappy pair of headphones for that situation is probably better. Especially because, like, okay, the one pair of headphones that I have, when it does the low battery noise, it's like I'm just listening to whatever I'm listening to, and then out of nowhere... I'm like, okay, I get it. It's low volume. Why does it have to be so concussive? So it's like, I don't want that when I'm falling asleep. I'm like quietly drifting off. I do have some, I do have some Bluetooth headphones though. I guess I could totally do it. Although the other ones that I have are like the wrap around the back ones. Cause they're for when I'm doing sporty things. Oh my god, it's the red key. We know where that goes. That goes in the bathroom. I just shot a man in the shower. Ah, no, give me that. Let me have it. Thank you. Did you ever find anyone to play Beat Saber with? Did I ever find anyone to play Beat Saber with? I mean, it, ah, ah, it's not, you know. Months. Holy moly, Batman. <laughs> he was just cleaning up. He had a family. Had. Had is the operative word. Had. Okay, where was that? No, no, no hitty. No. No. Okay, let's go back to. So I, I, I occasionally do play Beat Saber with people. Although recently I did pick up the um, the Quest Three, which I don't have my Quest Two anymore, so I can't really compare. But I do think the Quest Three is a pretty nice, pretty nice upgrade. I don't, I don't notice any screen door effect at all. I mean, I'm not saying it's not there, I just might not see it. But it seems like a pretty good headset. I'm impressed. <sighs> okay. Blue key card. Is that it? And then we just escape? Did we do the whole level? Oh my god, it's Josh. Are we kicking butt? No. Let me save over not that one. Okay, we did it. We did it, we finished it. How do you guys feel about that? Wait, what the fuck? What did I miss? Hold on, what happened to the rest of the level? I'm a good, so close I clearly teams. didn't find the secret. All right, hold on. First try, we did it, guys. Did load, load please. Oh yeah. Okay. Could probably do it faster. I missed a lot. What makes you say that? Okay. Okay, let's look around more. I clearly missed... How do I... I did clearly... Wait a minute. I was just in there. What? All right. Okay. Okay, we need to solve the mystery. Which means making grunting noises and trying to, uh... 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 I'm a fro up! No shooting me! It's fine. It's fine. I wonder if I... Hold on. I mean, this might just be the, the thing, but I'm going to make sure. I think it said... I think you being able to look down, up and down... All right, I'll turn off free look if I can remember where that is. Is it enable mouse? Want that. Where is the options for... Look! 
Always mouse look off. Free look is fine. Recommended for my house. But it's set. Okay. So I should leave it on. Okay. Or I can't. I mean, it said it was it was free looks, uh, free look friendly. But I might have one of the. Not hardware accelerated. Jesus, not at all hardware accelerated. I can't remember. Hold on. What did the thing say? What did the thing say? Do I still have it open? I do still have it open. Where was it that I saw? It said, free look is fine. Hardware, GZ Doom hardware renderer. Hardware renderer. I don't know which one that is, actually. <laughs> what is that FOV? I was trying to mix... Okay, this is actually something I did myself. Thanks for the judgment. I was trying to figure out, like, I wanted it to be a little less close than Doom feels, especially in, like, close quarters. It can feel really pushed in. True color Star Wars renderer. Is that what... <laughs> that's, I mean, yeah, isn't that what we want? The one that says hardware? I don't want this one, though. Look how it... Okay, fine. Is that really what I have? Look how it looks, though. Look how blurry and shitty it looks. It looks like a Nintendo 64 game. Is this what I have to do, though? Is this... All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Maybe... Hold on. I think it's because... I think it's... Let's change this back to normal. Does this... Does this even... Your hardware. <laughs> I like, I like the car. I'm gonna throw up again. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. This obviously does look better and more with artistic vision in mind. But what I want to know... Hold on, hold on. I need to read some of what I'm seeing in chat. Vanguard, hello, by the way. And everybody, round of applause for Coffee for joining the mod team and dealing with this kind of BS. Sorry, I have to keep hitting escape to check things. Eh. You need some of the paintings as part of the game. I believe it. Okay, so we're gonna leave. I guess we're gonna leave. It just looks so blurry. There's gotta be a way to make this look better. I just, I want it to not look fuzzy. It's all I want is for it to not. Oh, so I just, I was trying to split the difference. That's all. For something that looked a little far away, but not, not Doom-like. Okay, so what about... I don't think this is going to change it. The render mode we need on hardware accelerated. Is this just how we're playing? I guess it doesn't look that bad. I guess it's the hand that really looks... Well, okay, we'll just play like it's a Nintendo 64 game where the... I, I like they were playing Doom and... It's not running at 60 frames a second. Hold on, just one last thing. Let's just check a couple more things here. Scaling. Don't care about this necessarily. Like, if I... Just just hear me out for a second. If we just change this... Okay, I'm not gonna play it this way, but you have to admit, it's kind of... It's kind of a vibe to see... To see it this way, right? It's kind of... It's kind of great. Your hand is coming out of the center of your chest. Isn't that how... Yeah, the wrinkly penis is... Yeah. It's his penis. Okay, I guess we're gonna leave it on normal. Good FPS. I'm on Switch and get like two frames per second. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Let's just make sure that there's... What if I turn off V-Sync? I usually love V-Sync while I'm streaming, but maybe this will help. I'm gonna switch back and forth a bunch. I don't want you to throw up. I'm just trying to see if I can see the screen tearing. And I cannot. So we're gonna we're gonna leave it like this. This seems okay. Yeah. Yeah, I can deal with this. Okay, where were we? Oh god, do you see how like how how much more jaunty the shooting looks now? There's like so many more frames. Oh, I saw the screen tearing. Oh, I saw the screen tearing. Is it gonna bot I don't know if anyone else oh, can man. see it though. This game looks awesome. Is this running on a smart fridge or Polaroid photo printer? Who said that? Who's done that? Danica Discord. I... You know, I kind of wonder... 
Like, I want to... Yeah. It, essentially, yes. No, no, don't you... Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so as you can see, something different is happening with the house. Because now the doors... This looks better than before, no tearing. Okay, okay. At first I read that as, this looks better than before. Josh, you should heal. What do you mean I should heal? I need to find health packs for that. Did anyone else notice that the music, that the, that the music changed? Did anyone else notice that the music seems a little bit different? As long as the fat beats, though, are still going. And by that, I mean the part that goes... Okay, where was that bathroom that had the other key? Was that was that downstairs? I believe that was downstairs. Hello? No. Oh, good. Okay, thank God. Why is this game so stingy on the ammo? This is gonna go great. Wonderful hack, hope you get deep into it and don't come to an ending early. Well, I did walk outside the house immediately and felt really... What the fuck was that? Ah! Good. Good, thank you. I had to alt tab again, I'm sorry. I need to I need to do it again. Okay. okay. I'm gonna run out of brass knuckles, how dare you? Was that the fucking game that made the Discord noise, by the way? Not a fan. Not a fan of that at all. How we're doing this. Yes, it was. Good. Because I'm real because there's a piece of me that becomes instantly irate since uh I don't know if you do this, but sometimes I turn I turn off all the notification noises on Discord and occasionally they're just like, you know what, let's turn them back on. Would you like that? God. Putting it in this in this renderer, it's there's so many more frames of animation. Are we going to be burning the midnight oil? I mean, we're going to play this till like, till we feel satisfied. You know, this actually kind of, the, the music changing actually kind of reminds me of another mod that does something similar to it. And it has the similar creepy effect, which I, which I actually very much enjoy. Oh, thank God for shells. Do you guys ever miss the... Oh, wow, it's curved, actually. Does anyone have one of these wild, crazy... Not this one, it's not that big, but the, the monitors that are, like, curved and extend. You know, they curve up. You know, and they just, they just hit in all the right places. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I love seeing responses like, I'm sorry, what? What did you just say to me? God, it was really nice of that guy to complete the mod that his friend started. And just give it a little bit of, like, modern... Half curve monitor, it's so good. I've thought about getting on Cur <laughs> Curve up, hit the right... Yeah. Yeah, exactly, anger management. You know what I'm talking about, right? You seem like a man of culture. Can I take a dump? Can I take a dump on someone else's dump? You ever just shoot? You ever just, <laughs> just fire a shotgun? Right into the old pooper? Okay, so... I got... The red thingamabob. Now we need to go back to the, the laundry room. That I've once again already forgotten where it is. Was it up here? Yes. Okay. We're doing great. Are you planning on doing another satisfactory video? At some point, yeah. 
Oh, I love, I love secret laundry room rooms. I love bare mattresses in the attic. Okay. I'm a laundry room. Jenny Beans, no one's ever said anything so nice to me. I really appreciate that. When I eat too much guacamole, I often poop on my poop. On my poops. So many, I have so many questions. Well, I, you mean because of the guacamole or do you eat too much, you eat like a ton of food and that results, wait, wasn't that the front door? Is this not the front? I get, okay. Can I, can I, is this where I take a dump now? Was this supposed to be the welcome mat or is this where we, we, we take a dump? Yeah, I love that the door sh the doors are so strong that it shoves you out of the way. Oh, did I Did I just put the shirt on? Oh, I have a hundred Oh, you're oh, so that was the armor? Putting that sick green screen, that chroma green. <gasps> Oh my god, the Xbox is now... It's got the old Xbox logo, but it's a Series X. Hi, Lollip. We're playing a Doom level. You wouldn't know anything about that because you're too young. You're too nubile for Doom. Hey, Lollip, how do you feel about pocket doors? You a fan of pocket doors? Why do so many bathrooms have pocket doors? Lollop, answer me. So nubile. Yeah, or Star Trek doors. That actually makes me feel a lot better about it. Jeez, Josh, I feel like we're the same age at this point. I turn 40 this... Ooh, look at this. So, as an example, see where this photo is? Where this... I'm sorry, this painting? I forgot that this was huge. Thank you, Garbage Day, for the gifts up to just check. This game does not like tall tab. That, this, this right here, terrible place to put the TV. Don't do it. I have meat pockets. Are you talk? I. <laughs> I Occasion. I have so many questions. You know, I don't have any questions actually. I'm content with what has been happening. I'm content with what you said, and I feel like I have had all my questions answered. No, well, now we've done it. Now we're in one of them, one, we're in one of those modern houses that I see when I go on my walks. You know, one of the great things about this is, is this kind of stuff was not previously possible in, in Doom. Like you couldn't have spaces that kind of enter other space. You couldn't even have like, uh, you couldn't have two floors on top of each other like this. It just wasn't possible in original Doom. So I really love seeing it done in here. But you know what I don't like? Built-ins. Did I ever mention, I think I talked about this before on, an, on not my, well, maybe I talked to this in my stream, that in where, I'm, where I used to have my recording space, there was one of these, basically. It wasn't white. It was like wood. But I stared at it for a while, and I was like, this feels like a hidden door to me. And so I kept, like, feeling around the edge of it and, like, trying to pull it out. I don't actually hate built-ins. I think built-ins are great. But, like, I kept, like, just nudging the edges and it wouldn't open. I was like, I'm just going to ask the landlord. And I asked them and they're like, you're right. It is, a, it is a secret door, but it didn't work correctly, so we sealed it. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, mystery solved. Thank you. And I'm not going to open it up because that would be disrespectful. But there is obviously a piece of me that's like, yo, what do you got back there? <laughs> what, are you, what are you hiding from us? You got are there some bodies back there? Is that where the radon's coming from? Unseal it? I Okay, so it could be one of those things, right? Where like, have you ever heard like you want to open an envelope without someone noticing? So you like, you know, you get some steam going in a pot and then you can open it without it, without like tearing it. It could be like one of those things where that's what I would do and I would successfully open the thing with no damage done or I could try to pry it open and rip the whole thing off the hinges and the and like the drywall comes with it. 
And then that, and then I have to come clean. I'm like, yeah, I know I said I wouldn't. But I utterly damaged everything. And then I tried to fix it and I made it worse. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, that's a good point. Accidentally, Cascade, thank you. Yeah, I could just be like, I was just, uh... I was just doing my thing, you know? And, uh, I just slipped and fell and the whole thing just ripped open. Hi, Ninu! Give feet. Yeah, that's what I'll say. My kid did it and they're gonna be... <gasps> See, this is what it could be like! This is what it could be like right now. I could be like, oops, I accidentally stumbled upon something. There's just some litter boxes back here. I hit use. Oh, I can still control it. I was just sitting here waiting for something to happen. Okay. 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 Hang on, we gotta check everything before we... We don't have to check anything. We can just <laughs> stay out of that room. I'm sorry, not your neighbor. Your good friend, your deceased friend, put a lot more work into this Doom level than you led us to believe. Still has the curve monitor though, so we're okay. It's like it's re It's like it's recess outside. <laughs> yeah. You know when you go to bed and you just put on you put on your favorite vibing CD in the Walkman, and it's just the sounds of the damned screaming. Also, how's how's the volume? Is the volume okay? Or is it too loud again? I had to record these sounds manually on my cassette. The screaming is perfect. That's all I need to hear. It's okay. I thought you were playing City Skylines too. Yeah, this is what this is. They, you know, people people kept being like, well, what's going to make City Skylines 2 that different from City Skylines 1? Looks like the same game to me. And so they're like, okay, fine. Well, here you go then. Here's your City Skylines 2. Enjoy. <gasps> Ooh, look at that skylight. Isn't that something? Oh, there was something in the... I'm sorry. I'm sorry for not perceiving you. Jesus Christ. Yeah, spon hashtag sponsored, hashtag paradox. If you want to learn more about the burnt out husks of what used to be your friend's house, it comes out tomorrow at a normal time. Oh, the ceiling fan came down, the TV and the Xbox are gone. This is such a drag. I totally want to play this in a gaming bar. Why specifically a gaming bar? I mean, I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna tell you how to feel, or how to play, or how to love. I just picked up something that was called Tarnished History, as you do. Is that normal time UTC or EST or PS- I believe it's Cest. Cest time. Cest. You're out of the shower. You need health, you need- you're right, I do need help. Well, hopefully we'll find some in one of these many husk, like, burnt-out husks of a building. Are you serious? Hey, 
Hashtag sponsored. Okay, where am I? Am I still downstairs? How long has it been since I saved? Have I gone in here yet? Okay. But there is ammo I think I missed the first time. Ow! Uh, I'm so used to games now where if there's like a door, especially in VR, if there's a door and you open it, it'll like open both ways. And this game is more like the real world. Where you open the door and it only goes the one direction. Ugh. Hashtag shake weight. Hashtag eight equals D. Come on here. Come on here. I don't want to be hurt again. Emotionally or physically. I just need you guys to... Nope. Come on out. Okay. So... At what point do you think the friend's house was like this? Do you think the other one was like, this is what I wish my house was just like, and then my parents didn't live in a burnt out... crack den of a house with fiery skies and creatures of the damned constantly attacking us while I'm just trying to sleep? The screams make me feel zen. Exactly. I thought Starfield was supposed to be better looking than this. What do you mean? Hi, Queen. CS2 with new Rift to Hell disaster. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they've, they've, they, this, you know, this is the DLC you get on City Skylines 2 if you pre-order. The, yeah, the Rift to Hell DLC. Yeah, I'm so glad I picked up those ruined memories. God, we just locked eyes for a second. It was really awkward. We both were like, no, you hang up. No, you hang up. <gasps> Teddy bear. Teddy bear. So, are you sure that this isn't just a little, little bit of extra and the real ending wasn't just leaving the house? I'm so glad you're so op- I'm glad you're so optimistic to only have two digits. Yeah, that was actually a- that was definitely an oversight on my part. <laughs> Transport me, please. Okay, let me try that again. I really thought for a second. Dear God, make me a bird so I can fly far, far away! Okay. Okay, fine. Now, is this the same place? It is. Okay, wait, wait, wait. But is there something over here? Can I just... Oh, good. Oh, good. It's got a Schindler's List filter out this view. Can't wait to see what awaits us. At least it's a little less red. The, the, the compression can do a little bit more with this now, I think. I love feeling like I'm in someone's old memories. Transport me. Transport me now. Hey, Josh, thanks for bringing me into this Twitch community. Been really great for my mental health and wellness. That's awesome to hear. Yeah, I always hope that this is, uh, I mean, not even specifically, like, my channel or, or hanging out here specifically, but, like, you know, it's always really great to hear that people find, like, a, like a space that you can relax in even a little bit. Because I don't know, I spent, I want to say most of my professional adult life just in a constant state of stress and working and, you know, some, some level of, of not specifically depression, but just like, you know, potential sadness or worry or whatever it is. And it's just nice to take a break from that once in a while if you can, especially if it's something that is entertaining. I'm glad I'm saying all of this over, like, Cursed music in a burnt-out house. Also, for for anyone that is in the United States, I'm gonna think I'm talking about my friend Lollop here. I don't know if she's still around. She refuses to try In and Out, and I'm not even saying that In and Out is like the end all of a burger place. I kind of feel like if you're there and you feel like it, you know. I think she's just, oh she's gone. Classic her. Classic fucking her. Even if you think in and out is mid, I think it's worth trying once, you know? Wait, wait, I missed some messages. Hold on, I gotta hit escape. And you're gonna you're gonna miss this. I'm gonna put on normal music for just a second. There it is. <laughs> I was like, where's the normal music? 
Thanks for bringing me into this Twitch community. Been really sending me on a downward spiral of insanity. That makes me question. You're, you're welcome. You're welcome about a downward spiral of insanity. Hell is invading and you don't have enough libraries. And your police station doesn't have enough funding. I'm just scrolling through messages real quick. UC Gay says Twitch is a huge help for severe anxiety and depression. Yeah, I think it can help. I, I mean, I think, you know, it's the, the nice thing. I think it's like a double-edged sword in some ways, but like, you know, Twitch being a more interactive thing of having the chat aspect can definitely feel a lot less lonely. Like, I've always liked... I've always liked, um, like, when I was younger, I loved, I liked listening to, like, talk, not talk radio, like, not like, not like Q, QAnon shit or, like, right-wing stuff. But just, like, normal talk, I listened to a lot of Loveline back in the day, if you remember that show. But, uh, it was just nice to be listening to something where you knew, like, these people were also awake at the same time you are, and there's kind of a camaraderie and feeling like, okay, I'm not the only person awake right now. Yeah, see, quiet, you remember Loveline. Yeah, yeah, see? Loveline was great. I mean, at the time, there's some of their medical information that's kind of aged <laughs> very poorly, but for the most part, it's still pretty enjoyable. I also am old. See, there you go. That's what I was trying to say without saying it, is, guess what? Very, very old. My house? What do you- Dot Wad, what do you want from me? What a- Oh boy. Oh boy. Love line with Dr. Drew, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that one. Is this are these like putting greens? Oh my god. Well, I can see why they made you turn off jumping, because you could probably just jump to that. I'm just gonna try to jump for it anyway. Oh good. Oh good. I didn't know there would be- I thought I would just die. Thought I would just die. But instead, here we are. Yeah, apparently that worked. I mean, work is- is kind of a- I mean, it just seems like there was a place that it takes you. So let's see, we can go- is this, okay, is this just a big, a big loop? Hold on, if I shoot, oh, that doesn't leave, doesn't leave anything. Okay, then. Okay. 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 We can't go past the boundaries here. We can only go to these far edges. And that's it. That grunting noise is me trying to use things. That's me having a good time in the god room. I'm not finding anything. Except ultimate pleasure. Okay. Okay, let's not go through that door, okay? That, we don't, we don't need to. Okay, what do I hear? Okay, never mind. Yeah, skylines, no cities. Skylines, sand cities. Do we have to go down? But I don't want to go down. Okay, I guess this is a good thing. Okay, now we're just gonna start using against the walls. Okay, so that let's... I'm just checking again just to see. Could this game please give me some music, please? What do you see if you look down and up? Hold, please. Let's take a gander. Let's see if that door is still there and if we can go back into it. Just, just more of this. 
you know, just a surprisingly high res texture. Hold on, I'm super. I wonder if this is gonna break the illusion. I'm curious what happens if I turn off the renderer the way it's supposed to be seen. I don't know. Still looks pretty. Still looks pretty creepy. Just has. That's probably an illusion breaking thing. Anyway, I'll just put it back. But it's nice that it still kind of works. What if you go in the door the opposite side that you came out of? Go in the door the opposite side. What if you go in the door the opposite side that you came out of? I don't think I'm smart enough for what you're saying. Yo, Josh, why can't we watch past streams? Also, I got your opera mod. That's good to hear. I've been meaning to try to add to that opera mod or make another one. <laughs> Oh yeah, when he, when I'm grunting up against this, <laughs> go behind it. Yeah, so if you so I'm trying, I'm going up against like the boundaries of the room, and that grunting in Doom anyway, grunting is usually like if you run up against a wall in Doom and you try to use it and you can't do anything, it does this. Yeah, like that. So. Past streams are gone because they just get de deleted off Twitch after a certain amount of time. I have them all. I just haven't done anything with them. But there is someone that made an unofficial VOD channel, which I think most of them are there. So if you search on YouTube for it, you'll find it. I think you just need to search for, like, Let's Game It Out unofficial VOD channel. And uh, I'm just going to start going just down and start using doors and see what happens. But I find that that's generally a pretty good place to look for it until I figure out what to do with all of all of these VODs. I real I realize that the easiest answer is to just upload them to either my channel and leave them unlisted on like a playlist or set up a second channel that has those. Uh and I and I and I really should. I just haven't taken the time to do it. It's also it's kind of funny, but the person who's pulling them is probably having an easier time with those ones that he's pulling off the internet or capturing it live, however they're doing it, then the copies I have, because the ones I have are like multi-track and have all this other crap that needs to be kind of like sorted out before I can just upload it to YouTube. So I've basically created additional work for myself. Just like these stairs. Twitch Leecher lets you download full VOD. See, there you go. I imagine that that's probably the easier way to go about it. I recommend the SnowRunner VODs with Lollip. Damn funny. I did love those. Yo, Josh, how's her day? It's doing great. It's doing great, Cringy Corgi. Thanks for hanging out. I'm gonna skip that one. Is this Doom... Is this Doom map modded? Yeah, so this is... Okay, this, this looks promising, right? This looks pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Josh, didn't Twitch add a feature uh, where you could link? Yeah, you could. So they have a feature where you could link. Uh, let me get back to that. But yes, there's a feature that translates it over a lot easier, but I don't have it set up. Silent, thanks for the 1050 bits. Sorry that TTS is off. Uh, been a while. Glad to see you're still here. It's still tormenting Lollop all the time. just we could have just like we could have looked at all this and been like as Yisuke likes to say we could have just been like can you don't and then that could have been it are you gonna try multicasting uh I might I I haven't really decided yet I imagine YouTube would like that if I did although I, uh, I finally, at long last, I mean, I have, I've had it for a little while now, but I, I finally have a partner rep, so I'm, I'm, I'll just ask them what they think, too. I mean, granted, they work for YouTube, so I assume they'd be like, yeah, do it, obviously. But it's always, it's always nice to know, like, what the expected outcome is going to be when you do something like that, because I feel like one of the most, 
scary things when you have a YouTube channel is if you try to, like, wander away from the thing you're known for and, like, what impact that can have overall in your channel. And it's one of those unfortunate things that, that a creator has to think about. Is like adding a new thing. Is it gonna is it gonna add or is it gonna fatigue something or is it gonna be like oh people don't want to watch the live streams as much as they want to see the produced videos and having them in the same spot becomes confusing unless people come back or whatever it is. So it's just it's random stuff that I have to contemplate, and that's kind of the nice thing about having like uh, like I know I don't stream that much, but building that community over here on Twitch and having it be like a separate thing is it does feel like there is that little bit of a of a divide. If you do, feel free to drop me a line. I shall do that. People stream on YouTube? Yeah, they do. It's- I think it's definitely less known for it. And it's kind of unfortunate, because I do think in many, many ways, YouTube has a significantly more robust, like, technology platform for it. And by that I mean, you can stream at higher resolutions, higher bit rates, which isn't necessarily that important to me, but you can also, like, click back in the live video like it's a YouTube video and just see stuff that's happened much faster. But it also has a bunch of downsides, like a lot of people don't like chat and I totally get it and, you know, there's, there's just parts that feel like they're behind Twitch versus these other things that I just praise for being slightly ahead of Twitch. So neither platform has essentially gotten the entire feature set. Where the hell am I going? Where is anything? The moderation options are pretty rudimentary on YouTube, however. I think they just recently put in more options than a five-minute timeout. Yeah, and it's it's stuff like that that's got to feel really weird for anyone that goes from one platform where something is particularly well built out by this point. And then you go somewhere else and you're just like, why is this not here? What about Kick? Thoughts? Uh, I have no strong feelings about Kick. I mean, I, I registered the Let's Game It Out name over on Kick. Um, I understand why people are hesitant of it, and it also, of course, right now has a reputation for being a lot of things that the other platforms aren't. I think we'll see how it shakes out over time. It's, uh, I do think it's really funny to think about, like, where, where we end up landing with, like, what feels particularly uncomfortable to us and what doesn't. Because I think on one hand, you could frame it as, like, you know, Google and, go Google and, and Amazon are these gigantic companies that a lot of people have a lot of mixed feelings about, but they still may, for some people, feel a lot more comfortable to deal with than, like, a casino company, which I totally get. So it's, it's kind of all over the place. But I think as far as the user experience goes, I haven't spent that much time on Kick. The few times I have, it feels faster, but also Mixer felt a lot faster, <laughs> so I can't help but wonder if part of the reason Kick feels so much faster is just there's less, like, server demand happening. Kick just needs to find its legs. Once it learns to stand on its own, it'll be fine. Yeah, and it seems like it's doing okay. Twitch server serves me so many gambling ads. I am not surprised. The other thing about Kick is that all the other people who were banned from U YouTube and Twitch went over there. Yeah, so that's... And that's... <laughs> Do you still game with JoJo? I haven't in a while. Is this my house? Wad? Uh, yes. Yes, it is. You should go through the boiler room door. Okay, you got it. You mean- oh, you mean this one? Oh, I'm back here again. Okay. 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 What did that <laughs> do to you? I'm sorry, I was just trying stuff. My longest Twitch sub. Less than three. Why, thank you, Emerald Moonstar. God, 34 months. I realize I don't stream that much anymore, but it still doesn't feel like it's been that long. Okay, so we'll probably want to try and jump down on there, but we're not going to do that yet. Where do you see your YouTube channel a couple of years from now? I can imagine it going a couple of different ways. Uh, hello? Doggy? Oh, God. Qua I can't... Ye I'm, I'm trying to pet the... No, no, don't, don't do it. Just, yeah, do, 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 there you go. And now back, there you go. Like, there we go. Still looks weird, but you get the intention. Is there another doggy, or is that the only doggy? 
Oh my god, this is the best. Yeah, game of the year. Game of the year every year. I'm not gonna lie, if I weren't streaming this, I probably would have been fired. Because I am a monster. <gasps> Test pattern! Okay, so let's see. If we'll just fall and that will not be what we want. Oh my god, I can't. I can't. I'm glad the dog is not afraid of hearing shotgun blasts, though. Okay, so we're just gonna... You wait right here, okay? Don't don't follow me. You're not gonna follow, right? Oh god, just stay up there. Okay. 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 You know, I wouldn't mind living in a place that has all that grass on the... on the... <laughs> on the walls like this. Yeah, knees of steel. Just landed like a pogo stick. Just bounced right into it. As I get older and my back hurts on the daily and I think, you know what? I wish I had treated every single limb I have better than I have. How do we get over there? How do we get over there? Ooh. Ammo. Do I just go for it? What is that? Is that a tooth? Oh, is that a... What is that? An orange? I guess we'll find out momentarily. What are joints if not for hurting? Well, when you put it that way, it does seem like it's kind of the end game of it all. Is it a punkin? Punkin? It was a pu It was Pumpkin Rick. That must be an inside joke that I don't know. Just, I want to get over to that room with the TV, but I don't know if we're supposed to. Quiet, quiet, help me, quiet. You're the resident person that loves dogs. What do I do in this situation? Quiet, what do I do in this situation? Quiet, I need your permission. Can I kill the dog, please? Quiet, 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 quiet! Quiet, are you here? How to be quiet? Paging, how to be quiet? Rolled up newspaper, what the fuck? Good doggies are good doggies. Okay, I, I have a dish. Will the dish... D yeah. Yeah. Give him D's nuts? Hmm, actually. Wait, what is the over-under on giving the dog D's nuts? Oh, found it. Okay. Yeah, this is pizza the dog. Can I use this? Why would I do that? The dog's on the other side, isn't it? Why would- <gasps> Never mind. Okay, good. Good. If they're neutered, it probably works out <laughs> evenly in terms of karma to give these nuts. Oh, I see. Okay. It's- it's kind of just completing the whole puzzle. Oh, shit. I accidentally hit the Windows key. But I actually have to check something real cold, please. Doom, let me- let me all tab Give me my mouse cursor back, Doom. Let me have it. Jesus Christ. Hold on, I'm gonna change my title real quick. Did I actually say my doom.wad this entire time on my title? Boy, I'm stupid. My house dot wad. <laughs> My doom is something entirely different. Okay, where was I? Less than three, less than three, less than three, less than three, less than three. I thought that was just a joke. Yeah, me too. Well, yeah, profession. Yeah, it was intentional. It was a hundred percent intentional. I just wanted you to have more reading comprehension and that was my attempt to help you know that you should be reading and not check mistakes. Good talk. Doggy? Doggy? I googled it and the mod still came up. So, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rohawk. Rohawk. We were just, uh, it was, it was a group test that we were all trying to do together. 
Yeah, just to make sure. Quiet. Quiet. <gasps> Quiet. Wait. The the real dog is here and there's these the evil dog here. Can I kill the other dog now? What's my doom? My doom was a virus. Permission granted. You got it. Come here, buddy. It's not working. It's not working, Quiet. Quiet. Don't, <laughs> don't look. Don't look, you stop that. Quiet. Quiet, please advise. Okay, never mind. I can just Don't don't look at me that way. Was it just, just... What am I supposed to do, dog? Okay, I think we're I think we're making progress though. Let's go back down here again because why not? And I realize things are sounding more and more cursed. F it. F if it bleeds, we can kill it. All right, fine. Hold on. Let's go find it again. Maybe it's the key to getting out of here anyway. How did I miss? Stop being so wily. There you go, yeah, just... I'm glad that I've expended all of my ammunition trying to shoot this dog. I feel like what we're learning is- have you tried aiming? Aiming is for the weak. Spray and pray is where it's at. Also, I don't have the crosshair on because I'm a doom purist. So I don't even know where I'm aiming. Do you have a BFG? I do not. I wish. What I do have is the ability to miss every other shot. Well, it's come down to this. I don't understand why that didn't work. Purist, he says, with vertical look on. <laughs> well, okay. When you highlight that part of it, it feels like I'm less of a purist. It's so weird whenever I say, like, hi, it's interacting with a famous streamer in a different location than me, and some stranger has just called me out. Did you just quote yourself in a me- Oh, look, I kind of- I kind of have a crosshair now. Should I just leave this? <laughs> this, like, awkwardly adorable crosshair. I mean, it's supposed to be the mouse cursor, but- it's a severed bunny head, is what <laughs> my crosshair is now. Do I have to kill this dog? Is that what's happening here? Wait. Was there some- I, th I feel like I saw something over there. Did anyone else see that? Did you see it? Dog, move! Okay, I want to get over there. Okay, 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 okay. No, there was nothing. You're imagining things. Your attitude is imagining things. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, God! Jesus! Don't sneak up on me like that. It's my mom. She wants to know when you're coming. Am I invited over for Din Din? You know what I kind of feel like is at any point in life, 
it doesn't matter what your social status is, what your economics are, free meals always taste the fucking best. Or chips off somebody else's plate always taste the best. Those two things. Okay, how, I'm just, I'm trying to find different ways. I'm looking around to see if I can figure out how one gets over to that place where the creepy thing was. Is this the creepy thing? Okay, okay. Oh, ooh. Can I use those? Can I get up there? I, uh, uh huh. Oh, okay, okay. Let me grab these. Oh, uh huh. Okay. 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 Yeah, progress. Do I still have my mouse cursor? That's the real question. Well, all is lost. Hello? I see now the dog that was following you turned in a beast. Well, that's not necessarily true. I just wish you could pet this dog. Is it 100 bits for TTS? So TTS is normally 300, but it's off right now. I turned off TTS just because it's so, it's one easy for me to miss and then I feel bad. Boy, did you see, uh, you see something out there in the stomach? Did you want? You see something out there in the stomach? I just want to know if we can jump over there and do something. And now I'm just gonna, oh, what, ah, what the hell, why not? Bye! Okay. Back over here. Back in- back in this- this place. Those stairs by the not good doggo seemed like- it did seem like a good lead, did it- did it not? That was the only real choice. Which one? The stairs by the dog, or... Do we want to have a little time out over here where we can just vibe in- in Truman Show world? Yeah, the question is, I don't know if I can get up there without turning on jumping, which seems unideal. What happens if you go down? If I recall, not much happened. I'll try going down in a moment, though. Uh, let's just keep going over. I think this is how we got back to leaping out the window instead of facing Doggo. Yeah, that is okay. And just to confirm, I'm look, I'm, I'm running to the edges of this boundary, and you can't go anywhere else. The Truman Show fucked me up for a while. Yeah, every time I see that movie, I feel like I, I notice something a little bit different, and I appreciate that. I appreciate the filmmakers for that. Okay, let's see. What was it? The laundry room? Okay. 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 Uh. Okay. I like this because I can't remember if I've been here or not. And it's only... Can you come all the way over here? You, sir, you sure can. Doggo, other doggo, save me. Go be with him. Oh, I thought I was going to do it for a second. I got real excited. Love the soundtrack. I know. I know. This is... This is... Oh, oh we've already been here. But what the hell? Let's go again. Hello? What would the point of opening up that even be? Maybe trap bad doggo. Excellent, excellent idea. Don't run, Josh. You have a machine gun. So I already tried shooting it, and it, uh, it just absorbs all the bullets. It looks like, so it's, I don't think it's an invisible wall that, that, that 
Cerberus or whatever can't go through. I think it's that the hole isn't big enough. And well, I think also that's supposed to be what that symbolizes. That's the place where it stops. Skill issue, to be honest. I mean, it's okay to fall back on that. It's like, well, I think we have no choice but to acknowledge <laughs> the 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 discrepancy in skill required versus versus skill attained. Okay, thank you. I really thought I really thought that was gonna come to blows. And while I didn't want it to, I probably still would have. Hey doggo, what do you Oh my god, the doggo coming out from over there. You need to aim at the heads to kill both. Aiming? Aiming? Here? On a budget? Well, let's see what all this is first. Oh, here we go. We got good doggies are good doggies when we picked up the bowl. So let's just look around a little bit longer and see if we can't find... Yeah, aiming in Doom? What are you talking about? This game's supposed to aim for you. Spray and pray to victory no matter what you do. You know, now I'm starting to wonder, did I really see something there? Or did we just make that up? There was something there I checked. Well, that's cheating. You're supposed to use your imagination. Stay. No. 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 Okay. So we're gonna... We're gonna save again. Oh, 98. And also, Mike, thank you for the tier 2. 13 minutes ago. Thundernut, thanks for the sub. Lefty Games, thank you for the gift sub to Beardiation. Stairs are around here, I think. Yeah, they're on this guy's thing. The side. It's like right. Excuse me. Okay, so let's see. How would I get up there? I'm trying to figure out if it's even possible. Not really, because it looks like there's something up there, but it almost looks like something you pop out from rather than something that you... Bye! You know what I'm saying? Can you raise the floor up? Oh, you know what? I have- you need to jump. So you're not supposed to have jumping on for this one. Dog bowl and frisbee, little door behind him. Hold, oh, please. Oh. Oh, I think that's- I was like, what is this noise? But I think that this noise is me just using this door that already went down. Good boy has to die. You don't know that. Ah! Use, 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 use. Use, 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 use. Use, 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 use. Okay, we're doing okay. Just climb it, damn. <laughs> I know. Well, yeah, in modern games, yeah. God, that's how I sound whenever I can get Arby's. Have you tried using words and reason? Yeah, I tried to be like, what would Jean-Luc Picard do? Can you close the door behind him to trap him, or does this fucker have thumbs too? Yeah, I think it holds down a day job. <laughs> <laughs> just it does data entry for a living so it, it definitely knows how to open doors read it poetry also a good idea actually haha -ha! what do you know in here that I don't know nothing okay 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 okay, okay. nope 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 go 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 okay Oh shit, something tells me. Okay. Okay, bye. Can you go down here? No? Okay. Okay, so maybe it being down here is. Hey, buddy! Wait here, okay? Or, or don't. I've already lost track of where I was. But hopefully that other guy is off doing its own thing now, and I can just spend a little more time looking around now. 
Doom 5. Doom 5? Who calls it that? You think that dog got bit by a... Yeah. Yeah. I've listened to NPR when they talk about stories of rabies and stuff, and I'm pretty sure this is exactly what it's like. And NPR would never lie to me. Oh my god, now all I can think about is Arby's. Ah, ah, ah. NPR, how old are you? I am 57. I still donate money every month to Radio Lab. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, we'll sneak back over here like this. You'll never see it coming. What a stupid. I don't know where. Everywhere is house layout if you- well, yeah. I, I read that thinking I was gonna learn something. Wait, can I run and- <laughs> Sir? Are you serious? Not helpful. I saw plant wall. There was indeed plant wall. So essentially, I think all we have to go off of right now, right? You know what I will never actually forget? I just saw rich people. What is NPR? I'm not 50. Rich people radio station. I remember one. So when I lived in San Francisco and I was like 20, I, one of the stations I had it set to was NPR, just because I had six radio stations, that just happened to be one of them, and it was set to that. And I was giving this other dude a ride home, and he heard it, he's like, what is this? And I was like, oh, it's NPR. And he's like, what is NPR? And for some reason at the time, I was like, how the fuck can you not, like, I kind of get it now, but like, 20 years ago, should, should, you just, there's no, I, like, a lot of people listen to the radio, how do you not at any idea, have any idea what that is? <laughs> Oh yeah, and also it stands for net. Sorry, I forgot to mention what it is, which is National Public Radio. Josh, I don't know. I don't remember if I've ever told you, but I hope you never show your face. The mystery adds so much to the fun of the content. Thank you. I've, I've, actually, there is points in my life where now, if someone says like my, like in in my personal real life, if someone mentions my last name. It almost feels weird to me, because I'm so used to not <laughs> saying it or hearing it. Okay, so in theory, if we can find a way up here, these stairs could bring us up to whatever that is, but also it might be nothing. But also, I don't know how... Yeah, Joshua L. Game It Out is now my name. Or it's like Mario, where it's just Josh, Josh, Mario, Mario, and Luigi, Mario. That window high up with the green mold. It's not mold quiet, Mr. Judgy. Wasn't there one that opened for no reason? One that opened for no reason. You mean like these things? These things? Mold? Mold? It's not that either, quiet. A word that I- Oh, come on. Oh, well, I just- I did that one to myself, didn't I? Okay. 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 Uh, okay. Yeah, I too was wondering, Rohak, where our puppy pal ended up, and- Oh, hell yeah, my mouse cursor is back as the crosshair. I kind of love this. We're gonna feel really smart when we figure this out. Are we? Are we gonna feel smart? I just want- I want Doggo to run in that little hole right there, and be like, I I'm gonna solve all the mysteries for you! I don't know why the dog sounds like a crappy Yoda. But, God, do we have to slaughter the dog? No spoilers. I'm just saying out loud. Are we gonna, from a from a standpoint of running out of options, are we gonna have to kill a puppy? <laughs> Is that just how it goes? It's like a it's like one of the Saw movies. 
It looks like a decapitated cartoon bunny head. It's exactly what it is. Yeah, it's from the end of Doom, like the, at the end of the episodes, and it shows like a, a, a bunny head on a pike. I love that you have a mouse cursor that reminds you of getting infected by some shitty virus in the late 90s. I know. Well, it starts out you think you're getting something good, right? Have we explored the endless chasm? Great, great question. Let's go. I mean this one? Let's go down. Let's go down. Nope. Don't want that. Don't want that. Don't want that. Don't want that. Can't have that. Nor that. Still just doing great. Maybe have bad dog go pounce in the chasm. I wish. I don't think it'll. That's a great question though. Pulse rifling to try and spot hidden platforms, but also. But falling is also... Oh, I see what you meant. You meant try to shoot stuff and see if stuff happens, not just plummet to my death. Volt, let me ask you a question. If you came across something where a filter stopped you, why on earth would you think it's appropriate to then try to get around it like that? I'm going to give you the benefit of a doubt that you're young and stupid and not just stupid, stupid. But if that really is the reason, I hate to break it to you, but please don't have kids. If, if, if you're just stupid, stupid, please do us all a favor and just don't have kids. Whatever else you want to do with your life is probably okay. But besides that, just, just don't have kids. That's, that's all I ask. Would you like a slight hint? Yeah, I'll take a slight hint. I guess the music went away. I can't have kids. I am the kid. I need all of my... They see, that that's, that's the other avenue. That's probably okay. Yeah, the music got bored. Going through certain doorways will change the size of the areas between regular size and large. Most doorways will simply look like solid walls, but pressing use on them from the correct side will lower them permanently, allowing for easier navigation through the space. I think I kind of did that. Honestly, going back to Loveline, that's probably the number one thing I learned from listening. So Loveline was a was a radio show from way back in the day where there was a a professional funny man comedian guy paired with a doctor and they answered questions about sex and relationships and coping with, you know, growing up and abusive situations and like just all kinds of random questions like that. And I remember at a point when some of the callers were so stupid that they couldn't really comprehend how to just function through any advice they were being given. And the host would just give up at a point. They would just be like, hey, you know, you know, just party on. Do what you want. Just don't have kids. It's like, you're not... Yeah, okay. I, I get it. You don't understand. Just, hey, hey, just don't have kids. <laughs> so that's what I think about. Just like, yeah, yeah, I guess... This was a lot of... Did I ever call? I think I tried to call once to ask because one of the there was one there was one episode where they got tired of taking relationship calls. And so Adam Carolla, who is the other guy, just started answering questions about home maintenance. And so I wanted to ask him a question about outlets, but I like I got through and they were like, what's your question? I was like, I want to ask about outlets. They went, we're, de we're done taking those calls. And then they just hung up on me. So that was the one and only time I tried to call into Loveline. Yeah, the, the call screeners were, is my understanding, were very, very rude, but also they were probably sick and tired of dealing with, with... Like, okay, I would say calling into, like, an advice radio show makes for great entertainment, 
but it probably like the kind of person that's going to call in general not everybody but like i would say generally the person who's going to call into a radio show for real relationship advice is probably like the same person who today like leaves youtube comments <laughs> Not all YouTube comments, but you know what I'm, you know what I mean. You know what kind I'm talking about. Okay, so doorways can be smaller. I wonder if I need to open this from the, from the other side. It does feel smaller. Does it quiet? Did the music get nicer or is it just nice to hear music again? So you're saying this is, oh, I think I, I think I understand, right? Which is small world has small dog, big world has big dog. Is it probably, you're nice to hear again. Thank you, Corky Boom. Is that probably the case? Like it's just, it feels smaller, but it gets bigger when it... Yeah, it's a, this, so this room over here is a grower, not a shower, is what you're telling me. That took you long to understand. <laughs> yeah, I know. I sat here and was like, so this room has small dog and is smaller. And then big dog means big room and is bigger. So you mean to tell me if I go up here... It's big dog room with big. Does that, I wonder if that means jumping off is, didn't I already try jumping off from big room? Did I? Did I jump off from big room already? I guess the answer is goddamn yes, isn't it? Oh, Blush, oh, here, I can break it down again. Oh my goodness, my cup runneth <laughs> over. Yes. Yes, thank you, Mr. S Mr. Skidley, thank you for the five gift subs. So, okay, so Opalish, my understanding of this is like, so if there's the small dog, it's, it's symbolically trying to tell us that, James, thank you. I like my alerts too. I need to do like a, I, I feel like I should probably do something of a refresh because they're they're a little long in the tooth or I should add some more or something. But but thank you. So Opalish, as I was saying, so if it was like if they were like if it's like small dog, it means that the room around is also small. Which I think means that when you see the big dog If you see the big dog, I think the small dog is supposed to be symbolic of Josh's brain. It's not, not that. <laughs> yeah, brain. All I can tell you is everything hurts now, and not in the way like when you drink too much diet soda. And you know something's happening to your body you can't take back. Okay, so what you're telling me is big room, big dog. I'm super ultra duper confused right now. I know, this is really tough. This... Can you keep shrinking repeatedly? Okay, so you're saying, like, stay on this side. Why don't I want to get bigger all the time? Why would I want to get... S oh, you mean so because then I could go in there? I don't think there's anything in there, actually. Do not move to the side or bad things will happen. Like, I... You know, because you can see... Well, not with this, but the other one, you can see the, the gunshot thingamabobs. My vote is shoot small doggo. I know that there's a... a a quadrant of chat that would enjoy that. Okay, so... I don't know... I feel like that's that's asking a lot of this mod to be like... You just have to keep... You just have to keep getting smaller and smaller. 
or bigger and bigger. Or maybe smaller and smaller doesn't feel realistic, but maybe if you keep going in like a circle. A circle? Oh, it's oh, you. So let's see, where is the other... Whoa, buddy. Whoa, whoa. Okay, so let's say we do that and then we go back. And if we go back to the dog, maybe everything will be bigger now. I like how abruptly the music came back. Like I just burst at this at this point we're like full of piss and vinegar and it's like we just burst out of the uh out of the mirror like yeah yeah, yeah I get it. Okay, so we're back in small world. Yeah, the music is as confused as we are. It's like, "Oh, well, I almost missed our cue." I'm watching him miss the same door over and over his pain. Oh, did I miss a door? Okay. Let's try all that then. I'm going to start I mean, I believe it. There's a bunch of doors, though, that I have tried. And, like, do you hear the grunting? That's me trying to make it work. Remember the bad doggo stairs? They're not in the little doggo world, I think. Correct, they are not. There are no little doggo world stairs, nor is there a little uh, thingamabob up here for the thingy. The missing door is in the big room. On it. You got it. Uh, as soon as I can remember where it is. Okay. Missing door, big room. Okay, so I'm just trying. I'm just looking around. Okay, that one didn't work. That one didn't work. Just gonna grab these. Hold still. Nope. Oh. Wow, I missed this this whole time. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I love seeing chat. Jesus Christ, finally! Hey, yeah, don't forget to check out the link for City Skylines if you want to, you know, just check out this, uh, this level. Comes out tomorrow. Oh, good. Okay. You did it! So, so quiet. Thank you. But also, oh, sorry, TTS is off. I don't know if I feel smart, though, from that. Solving that did not feel smart. Why am I doing this? Why am I letting the big dog in here? Why would I, why would I think that that's, ah! Bye. Ooh, sewers. I'm glad we landed on this little patch of grass. That's probably what saved us, right? Get in the tub. I did it. Deadeye, thank you. Mayamaze, look, there's so... Oh, Jesus Christ. There's so many things we've opened up now. Ooh. Oh, my God. Which way do we go? I see an American flag, and because I'm an American, my patriotism is taking over. Or do I, do I look around the parking structure first? Should we, should we blue ball ourselves and save the American flag for last? Proud of me. Thank you, Mayo Maze. Head towards... <laughs> head first towards America. I think we have to. Oh, my God. I was like, are we in the Smithsonian? But no, I think we're just in an airport. With... With arcade-like carpet. Uh, uh, is that... Is that... Is that booze? Out of the way, suitcase. It's drinky o'clock. Okay, this is probably where dad dropped us off. Never to be, never for us to ever, ever see them again. Because they were supposed to come in with us, but instead they just drove away. <laughs> I love how anytime I mentioned dad, I can just see Yisuke already typing something about dad. I'm super- I always just want to see now, when you turn it off, like, what does this end up looking like? 
Runs great, feels great. I do wish we could keep it looking like this because the chunky look of it, I just like it so much more. But I understand. Although it also bends everything kind of all fucked up, so I guess this is better. Uh, this is too much reading. Which one of these is Yusuke's dad on? Probably one of the ones that's departed, and probably not the one that's cancelled, Kanakeld, Kanelelkad, or Kekinelled. Texture filtering, nearest neighbor. Let me give that a shot. Oh my god. Oh my god, how am I so dumb and didn't know this was here? Oh my god. Oh my god! You saved my life! You changed my life! I, I was living a lie this whole t Kanak held! God, I'm just so tired of that Kanak held culture. Clutcher. Oh yeah, this feels perfectly normal. Just chilling. I'm not sure what feels more unrealistic. I feel like, okay. I'm willing to bet at least, there's gotta be at least five to ten streamers who are about to make, who have made the joke I was about to make. Which is, I'm not sure what's more realistic, being on a flight where I have a gun, or I'm on a flight where there's no one else on it. That has to be something that has already been said. Kanakle me right now. Oh my god. Oh my god, I have my choice. Do I shit in this one? Do I shit in this one? Or do I just shit on- split the difference and shit on the, the hallway floor? One of these has to open, right? Oh, yeah, what am I doing? First class, come to me. Just grunt. Just grunt over each and every one. All three? Actually, yeah. Well, there's, there's these ones here, so I feel like what you have to do is... I feel like I would just start crapping in one and then run across and just try to keep crapping. Like, squeeze the toothpaste out as much as I can. That seems a lot easier. Although, I guess if no one's here, including no pilots... Oh. I pushed something. With the right diet, you could start one and try to reach the other one. Quiet. I had oatmeal twice. Oh, dear me. Oh, ow, that hurt. I'm down to- oh. Oh, there's bad guy- oh, shit. I didn't save, did I? Where is the last auto? The last auto save is when we were in map two after. Okay. 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 Yeah, someone got lo someone locked on to me. Yeah, of course there's a ghost. Stupid me. Of course I don't have this plane to myself. It's okay. It's okay. All I need to do is run through this stuff again. Fall down the haunted. Not that way. Maybe not the- yeah, this way? Yeah, this way? Yeah, 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 was it the smoke monster from Lost? Do I not- do I already have enough bullets? Well, I'm not leaving this behind. I'm just gonna shoot a couple so I can grab that clip. No freebies for anybody! Wait, 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 what is this? Never mind, never mind. Shut up. Hey, look, we're up here now! Aww. Aww. Paper thin 2D doggo wants to be closer to us. Looks kind of adorable from up here. Tucson, Ontario, I'm sorry that I don't have an uptime command. Wait, no, I do. I'm stupid. <laughs> I, just, I, didn't, I didn't read two lines down to see the miraculous work my mods have done. Never mind, I didn't say that. Once again, just like the mydoom.wad thing, it was all a test. Okay, this time. Step one. America. Step two. Save.
I can imagine, by the way, what an amazing experience this must have been for people that played it, either with one, no idea that there was, like, more depth to this mod than it let on, or two, just kind of played it just on their own and just vibed with it and how fun that really must have been to just, like... Because, I mean, streaming this is great, right? But also, and watching, hopefully watching it is, is fun, too. Step three, find dad. Step four, cry. Step five, no dad. Pardon me, please. I gotta go. Okay. Okay. Dude. Oh, fiddlesticks. I'm having no fun, fun just sitting and watching bitterly. Yeah, it's, you gotta hate the content, right? It's like grief tourism. Motion sickness simulated just by also almost three years. Hold on, Jojo, I got a better well. idea. Watch this. Right. So, thank you, by the way. Hold on, let me max out my mouse sensitivity. You can't do this with an optical mouse. Back in the day, you could, like, if you had, like, the little mouse ball, you could get a real, like, you could really swing it to one side and then lift it, and it would just keep spinning. So, but I met this is the best I can do. Cover your eyes, everybody. Ha! <laughs> is that better? Does that make it better? But yeah, that's one, I mean, okay, so you can play Doom in VR, right? Like, you can find a mod for it. Or also, there's games that are as fast as Doom can be, like Serious Sam. And you can, there are VR versions of that. And they're really fun, but they're also, they move so fast that it's just, it's barf city after a couple of minutes. <gasps> Did we do it? Oh my god, we've been in here so long that they moved out and the house is decrepit now. Well, I guess we need to check out the house. No, we don't. We don't have to do anything of the sort. Oh. Oh, I see. All right, let's go find Yusuke's dad. Just gonna do another spin to see if... Yeah, they said... <laughs> you know, Magical Mangoes, you raise a good point. They didn't just sell the house. They literally sold the house. Home got connected. We did it, I think. Oh, is this only one ending? Ah, oh, just listen to that repeating bullet sound over and over and over again. That's... <laughs> you know, if you're taking this seriously, the par would have been 30 seconds, but I see you took a little more time to look around. So... It's just a little higher. At... <laughs> But we see you did second best <laughs> instead of 30 seconds. A nice 59.51. Very proud of you, son. All right, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Back we go. So wait, are you telling me there's like a shitload more? I know, sub one hour. Feeling real good about this. Loads of endings. How many? Oh. I didn't even see the bathrooms. I didn't see the bathroom. Any any percent dementia. Actually, there is another mod that I that I actually really love. That's like the best gaming you've ever done. I felt I felt real good about it. <laughs> I also feel Jojo. Let me tell you some of the things you missed. I didn't know how to how to like change Doom so it looked like Doom. It had like the smeared trilinear filter thing on it. Oh my god, I'm going into the women's restroom. And I took someone's pills. Wait, are there... Ooh. Ooh. Eh. Eh. Anyway, anything... Everything did look like... Ooh. Ooh. 
what I get for going into the women's restroom. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yes, I do like the symbolism at play here. Hold on. One, I want those pills again. Thank you. Two, all right, swing around and... What's it gonna take? Okay, there we go. Huh? When is it turn? Huh? Bloody. Huh? Ha! Huh. <laughs> what if I do it from this side? Huh? Wow, that's actually really cool. It like fills in up like everything up to the point that you can't see. I actually really like that. Okay, let's switch to this. Huh? <laughs> okay, there we go. Everything's much better. And they say the men's restrooms are always worse. Really saw yeah. Yeah, I just gushed about this th about this one horror effect that I really liked. <gasps> oh my god, it was all a dream. I made it up. It's because I took those Oh. Nope, everything's fine now. Wait. Wait a minute. Am I going in the wrong restrooms? What did I do? Am I confused? Is this a second set of rest? They swapped. You're right. They did swap. I've been creepy twice. <laughs> There's no urinals in the women's restroom? I know. Isn't that like... <sighs> Look. You mean to tell me you can't pee standing up? Or you just don't want to stand... What did I just grab? What in the world? Uh, Itty Lou, thank you for the brief sub. John Danks, by the way, thanks for the 69 bits. Garbage Day, thank you for the gift sub to... I'm just gonna say Peary, because I think it's Perithius, but I've always fucked this up, and in my head it's Peary's house. And Jojo again, thank you for the resub. Deadeye, thank you for the 300 bits. Quiet. You, you get nothing. You know what this kind of reminds me a little bit of is like the Langoliers, which was like a Stephen King novel or short story, one of the two. But really, what I most remember was the terrible made-for-TV movie about it. And it kind of reminds me of this because it's all creepy. Oh, go up the stairs. Yeah, you're right. You're right. There's so much more to be had that isn't jumping. It was so bad, but as a child, it scared me. And I remember it leaving some lasting impacts. They're, they're remaking that horrible show? The way you said that, uh, Ophi Ophelia? Or, uh, th what I hope you mean is that they're just taking the original footage and like, horribly, horribly upscaling it. And air quote, remastering it. Not like reshooting it like they did with The Stand. Oh, it had the worst TV CG. Oh, and also, if you missed a bit of the stream earlier, I did play City Skylines 2 for a couple hours. Uh, you can check it out in the VOD. I hope it was a good time. I'm gonna give you a little spoiler. We could have probably gotten more done. Did you ug that door upstairs? You mean, did I make passionate love to it? Yes. Uh, Joe, thank you for the thousand bits. And after all, thank you for the 300. And Trafdar, thank you for the prime. Did I no, find more drugs with a question mark? You know, I think I've, I think I've taken all the drugs I can find. I'm not saying I'm not open to siphoning up floor drugs some more. Did you play Sushi Sim earlier? I wish. 
And by that, I mean when it comes out, I'm going to obviously give it a shot and see if it's going to make for a video, because, God, I love cooking sim stuff. Did you go upstairs yet? Yes, I did, but I'm going to go around and dry hump every table again just to see if, uh, if anything happens. Josh, if you have a skooma addiction, please seek help. You know what I loved about Morrowind in particular? Was they had a mechanic with the alchemy stuff where you could just utterly horribly break it. Are you going to play Cooking Sim 2? Uh, I'm going to check it out and see. Yeah, and if it's good for a video, I'm definitely going to do something with it. Based on the demo, it looks like they streamlined some things that are better for people, I would say, but not as good for me for fucking around. But also, I think the demo was very, very scaled down. So I'm waiting to see, obviously, till the full game comes out. All right, we're just going to go in circles now and see. But in Morrowind, you could you could break the alchemy system so much where it's like, I can't remember exactly what it was, but I think it's like you need your, the potency of your potions is based on your intelligence or one of those stats. And it's like, well, so you can just make a rudimentary intelligence potion, drink it, make a better intelligence pro potion, drink that, and keep doing that over and over again until you have like an ungodly amount of intelligence. And now all your potions are great. And I remember I did that, and my character was, like, a non-magic user. So I did all this stuff, and then, like, used alchemy to, like, make crazy amounts of strength potions. And my guy had such, such a high amount of strength that, like, if he hit anybody once, his weapon would break. And it didn't matter what the weapon was. So I had a bunch of, like, crappy sabers, like, entry-level sabers that I would carry around. And I would just run up to an enemy, break it over them once, and then equip a new item. And like, okay, this is this is gonna be talking about the ending of Morrowind, so if you don't want to hear that, you know, block out your ears for like 30 seconds. But at the very end, you have to kill a guy, and then you have to like, destroy something. And what you're supposed to do is like, hit the thing, and like, a thing happens. But like, I had such high strength that I killed the last guy in one hit, and he just evaporated. And then I go up to the item you're supposed to hit, and I, it hit, got hit so hard, it also just evaporated. And it didn't play the last cutscene or anything. It just died. Like, that was it. And I was like, what the fuck happened? And I had to ask someone else, and they're like, that's not what's supposed to happen. And I was like, oh, okay. And he's like, yeah, just, just, uh, wait till your strength potions wear off. And then, uh, and then you should be able to do it like normal. And I had to, you know, and there's an option in Morrowind where you can, like, rest for 12 hours at a time. So I rested for 12 hours. Potion still on. Rest for another 12. Potion still on. Rested for 24 hours. Potions were still on. And I sat there, and I think in-game, I had to rest for, like... I think I had to rest for, like, three months in-game before the potions wore off, because I had drank so many powerful potions. And so I had to sit there and just rest 12 hours at a time, or 24 hours at a time, whatever it was, for, like, for like a half hour or something. And I was like, okay, I can finally beat the game. <laughs> Awesome. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? Do I just get on the plane, I guess? And then other things... Where was the plane? Where am I? Who am I? Alright, back on the plane. What happened to the long str what happened to the long stream ga gap, or was it just YouTube and life getting in the way? Yeah, it was mostly just doing a lot of YouTube. Explore parking? Shit, did I not explore the parking well enough? What if I stay on the plane? I'm ready to shoot you down. Man. Get away from me. Spray and pray. Spray and pay and pray to victory. Yeah. We're doing good. What if you get on the plane and immediately jump off? I think that's what I did last time. You are the plane. Smoke monster, leave me alone. Stop. Stop. Okay, let's just run, dude. Okay. Okay. Easy. 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 Simmer down. Ooh, did I see something out there? No, that was just the wing of a... Lefty game. Thank you for the gifts. For Did you give three months? A gift sub? I'm having trouble reading. 
Oh, it's a, it, or or third month. I don't know how to do this Twitch math. Thank you for the gift sub to Jellyfish Writes. Jellyfish is an amazing person. That should be green on the starboard wing. Well, listen, Captain Pilot. PhD. DDS. So what I'm hoping is staying on the plane and just shooting stuff will result in something else happening, but I don't actually know if that's the case. I should probably take a dump in the meantime. Can you put on one of the masks? Yeah, immersion ruined. I'm trying. I still can't believe Anthony is another person. I could have, I would have sworn it's you. So I kind of get it, but from a, from like a practical standpoint, that would be so hard to pull off. Like trying to be two unique personalities that interact really well with each other. Like I like to think about all the times that there's been like a scene in a movie where like, you know, a character meets himself or herself from the past or something and they have to interact and how like, it sometimes works, but it's really hard to let your brain let go of that. And I kind of feel like that would play a little bit, or maybe it was playing, that it felt like it, like you just couldn't buy it entirely. No, I realize that like there's movies where this is the thing and it's just, it's yeah, <laughs> laughing in, in full earnest at my own jokes. Can we jump? We can jump because I can't, I don't think we can do anything else, but we've jumped before. Okay, we jumped. Now we're back here. Thank God we landed on the bed. Oh, oh! I sorry, quiet. I already, I already left. Instead of checking row, well, I kind of looked row by row, but I didn't like. I actually have already forgotten if I slammed the use key to everything. Well, now I don't want to leave the house because I know what's going to happen is the house is going to leave us. So can we, can we not do that? Let's look around some more. Lollip is the new Anthony. It's not not true. Save, that's a good idea. Thank you, my name is super awesome, for coming out of Lurk to, to demand I save. Laughing at your own jokes, so no change. <laughs> well, yeah. Hello? Hello? Okay, I don't want to go in there anymore. Okay, so now that this room is all empty, I think we can all agree, right? Let's let's lay this out. You could do this. First of all, this would be a great VR room. Huge amount of space. This column all the way over there. So just think of all this roaming space you have for VR. But barring that, if you were to set up like a uh, just less than three. Uh, Cold Fusion. Cold Fusion. Thank you for the resub. Like, let's see. What, what would the what would the best TV placement be? I guess you could do it a couple ways, right? You could put a couch right here, and you could project onto this wall like that. That could be something. That column needs an upgrade. Yeah, I agree. You know what this column could, sh could and or should be instead? Should be a great big cock. But yeah, so you could have a projector right here like that. You could really, really use the space. But if you wanted to chop it up, you could also, I can't actually remember where the TV was now. You could also like, I mean, this isn't the greatest, right? But you could try to like section it off where like there's a couch here looking over here or like a couch here looking there. Or you could have two couches and two TVs. And then you could play Halo side by side. And then when you're done playing Halo with your best bro, where you each get a screen, you're like, hey, bro. And then they're like, yeah, bro, what's up? And you're like, I had a lot of fun tonight. Okay, anyway, so those are some of your options. And again, I'm not saying I'm like the... I don't know all the best things about TVs. I'm just saying... I'm, all I'm saying is if you're going to put a TV somewhere, don't place like a couch here and then a couch here and then put the TV in the corner like a psycho. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, thanks, bro. 
Oh shit, Garbage Day. I'm sorry. <laughs> I forgot you're here. Garbage Day is not a fan <laughs> of the the wet smacking noises for some reason. Hey bro, <laughs> it's a really great time play hey, blah, 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 blah. Is that is this better or worse to go? A whole year of debauchery. Story writer, thank you for the resub. And Goober Melon, thank you as well. Everybody who, by the way, put forth a sub that I missed, I'm really sorry. I can go back, but I think it's been hours now. Both are bad. What do you mean? I don't want to leave the house because then the house will leave me. Like dad. There's got to be other things we can do besides... Wait, 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 this just goes back to the garage. What if I stare at the house? Maybe the house won't... I feel like the first reveal probably made a lot more sense, huh? I'm glad we got to experience it the first way. Where it had all the right reveals. <laughs> and didn't just... In the blink of an eye. Bam! House gone sold. Can't even use the... <laughs> Look at all these dads that left. <laughs> Should have bought it, I know. Laundry room? Okay, we'll, we'll try the laundry. We don't need to see my par. We know it was really impressive. Wish I could post the link. The overhead wireframe image of this wad on the Doom Wiki is, is amazing. There's 22 variations. That's really cool. Yeah, I noticed... Okay, so if you open up the auto map, you get to see nothing. Or at least that's what I've seen this whole time. Parking garage? We want me to go all the way back to the... All right, parking garage. Hold, please. Gotta look at the paintings on the wall. At the very beginning? Or do you mean these ones? Josh, just don't go outside now. I'll sell your house. Well, okay, stranger on the internet. If you say you'll take care of it, I trust you. You take care of it. The paintings in the main house. Do you mean at the very fucking beginning? You want me to go all the way to the beginning? Oh, right. Sorry, I already got sidetracked. You wanted me to wait. I, I wonder if I can still... Can, I can still go down there, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Those are mur... You're right. Okay, those are murals. Hey, Josh, just want to say you're my favorite person to exist. I don't even know you. I like the, I like the juxtaposition there. And you and your videos made me laugh during really tough times there was a limit thank you for being you a person jazzy scorpion i appreciate that i'm glad it's it's helped out to me that has got to be some if not the highest praise to know that it's like helped someone just get through, through something kind of difficult or really difficult i've mentioned this one before but it's like yeah i've also like gone through tough times and had like my youtube videos that not, I don't mean my YouTube video. I, I had tough times and then I just watched my own stuff and I was like, oh, oh, that Josh. He did it again. No, I mean, I've had my own like YouTubers that I really liked that really helped like, like, I think I've talked about this one where it's like, I remember there was like a pretty, not a sudden death, but there was like a death in the family. And it's like, I feel like you can lose a lot of sleep over situations like that. But I remember because I had, in my case, the Game Grumps, um, and I could just, like, lay down, and when I was trying to sleep, like, listen to a bunch of episodes. It, like, it helped sleeping, and I didn't lose a single night's rest. Because it, it helped create a habit that I still do to this day, where now I just watch stuff on YouTube to fall asleep. But I fall asleep fast. Uh, Garbage Day, thank you for the gifts of the Red Lady Art. Yeah, yeah. Game Grumps is still good. I don't, I haven't watched them with as much regularity as I used to. And I remember asking a friend who does still watch, like, hey, how is it still? And he's like, same as always. I was like, cool. Yeah. Just wanted to let you know that your videos are family events in my home. That is also so wild to hear, which always makes me feel like I need to focus more on making them 4K. 
because sometimes I do some of those zooms at 1080p and it's like 1400% zoom and it's just like a mashed, smudged mess. And I feel bad how that must look on a television. All right, let's try going up. But that's actually going to happen soon, if anyone really cares about that. Lollip, you were at the Grand Canyon, and now you are not at the Grand Canyon. You are now driving back to to be embraced in the arms of Gamblor and the slot machines. Sorry, I thought there might be something here. There is. There's cardio. There's determination. <laughs> There's this one vehicle. There's drugs here? You don't know that. So let's yeah, see. I made my stream. Yeah. Thank you, Cold Fusion. And King Kirk Kurgi, thank you for the hundred bits. Favorite part of my favorite part of City Skylines 2 from what you've played at least. Uh so I found both City Skylines 1 and 2 to be a very intimidating thing to start playing. Please, can you sing Canyonero, please? Canyonero! I don't know the whole song. I mean, I know it's from The Simpsons. And there's a line about something for the matter for the chords. Canyonero! But that's all I know from Canyonero. Is that all you wanted? Okay, so I'm gonna assume that there's nothing here. And that we have to go back. Oh my god, they're the, they're the lyrics. I'm trying to remember, because that was like from Simpsons like season 2 or something, right? <laughs> Smells like steak and seats 35, Canyonero! God, back when The Simpsons was good. I watched a video, I was suckered into watching Go in Restroom. I already did that, but I'll do it again. I was suckered into watching an episode of a YouTube video that was called The Simpsons is Good Again. And I watched it and I was like, I don't even know if this person believes The Simpsons is good again. I just, but now I've watched this video. They got me. Through, through the divider, huh? Yeah, super. It was a super. Is that is that their name? I already forgot. Super Eye Patch Wolf. Yeah, because then I started watching a bunch of his videos, because that's how that happens, right? Yeah, this is a this is a typical American restroom, to be honest. Just just covered in blood. Everything's clogged. But more than anything, these gaps under the dividers, disgusting. But yeah, then I watched uh, Super Eye Patch Wolf's video. What was that? I think I think The Simpsons was good again. Was the second one I saw. I'm trying to think of what the first one was. I think it might have been the one where he started looking into content creators who have created like programs on how to Canyonero, Canyonero. Well, yeah, where it's like content creators have made programs on how to become successful content creators. And I'm gonna fuck it up if I try to quote him, but he said something that I thought was like really, really true, which is he was, oh, it was, he was pointing out something where it's like the only thing that, a, he didn't say it this way, but my memory of it is he said like, a content creator is good at explaining how they were successful at the time that they did it in the exact way that they did it with a bunch of luck and timing. I might be throwing in some of my own thoughts about it too, but I remember that being kind of the idea. Is it true? Are you good at that, Josh? Am I good at, am I good at Canyonero? Oh, am I good at that one specific thing? Well, it's like, if someone is like, how do I become successful on YouTube? It's like, well, I can give some like really generic pointers, but I can't, like, the landscape has changed a ton since I first started, so, like, what would what really resonated enough to get my channel going at the time really, 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 really might not work now. Or also, there's people that do only YouTube Shorts content, and they are, 
leaps and bounds more successful than my channel will ever be. Like by by like a country mile, by so many ex so exponentially that there's just no way I would ever have a channel that successful. And so it's like, what am I supposed to really say? It feels like the landscape changes every six months. It really does. I mean, and especially like anyone who tells you, yeah, I can tell you how to do it. I can tell you to get famous. And it's like, well, I can probably give some decent okay tips, but like nothing's for sure. You know what is for sure though? Genyanero. Florida Panthers can get bent. <laughs> Thank you for the sub. Go oomph every time in the switch bathroom. I don't think you're done just yet. You got it. Do I need yeah. the bathroom to still be bloodied? Don't load into save files. Play continuously as the maps are connected after the end screen. Really? Pictures in the base version of the house indicate pickups you must do. Tip, jump into mirrors, l open taps, flood. Okay. Okay. Roaring Noodle, thank you for that. Never for free, though. You gotta pay to find out how to become a big YouTuber 12 years ago. My memory, too, is in that video um, when he reviewed Ninja's plan. He wasn't like, this is fucking terrible. He was just like, yeah, it's not bad. I mean, there's some good tips in there. Signal is so bad, I wish for once in your stupid life you'd stream when I'm at home, you sausage. Okay, listen, Lollop. One. Step one. Live in America. Step two. America. Step three. Kenyanero. Easiest way to become a big name in YouTube is to post a video that happens to land on the feed of a Polygon writer who slams it in an article that happens to go viral on national news for unrelated reasons. Works every time. Yeah, just try to make national news. Why did you sausage get me? It's, it's so British. It feels so British. Bye, Lollip. Every say bye to Lollip. By the way, Lollip is a very funny streamer. Sometimes I play games with her. I think she's going to be playing a game at some... Uh, you know, when I can, I like to, like, sit in on her streams and be annoying. It's not guaranteed to happen. But it sometimes does. What I'm doing, by the way, is I'm, I'm tapping the forward button and the use button at the same time. If you can hear me just... I'm not even holding them down. I'm just, like, damaging my keyboard by just obnoxiously smacking them. Yo, and, and also, remember what Renise said here, which is Lala loves feet. There wouldn't be an emote for it if it wasn't true. I believe the secret to YouTube success is to post garbage with your mom and a stranger in the background while not sleeping or eating. That's true. There is, there is legitimate proof that that works. I would say start over from the first map ever. Keep an eye out on pickups, mirrors, taps, boiler room, buttons. Don't save and load manually. do this. Josh, not guaranteed you'll be annoying or not guaranteed you'll be in her stream? The latter. Being annoying kind of comes with the territory. But she is really funny. She is actually really funny. Okay. So I'm not... Oh, I forgot there's bad guys. I was so used to being alone. With just me and the, the women's restroom monsters. <laughs> So I'm not sure exactly how much more will go through this, but of course I'm... Now that I know I can... Should I just set up an auto hockey that slams the E key? I guess that wouldn't really work. Well, it might work. I think if I do that, things might happen and I won't understand what just happened. How to be a successful YouTuber, be Mr. Beast. Well, more specifically, be Mr. Beast right now at his most successful. Because it's like, obviously, Mr. Beast didn't start out as the powerhouse he has become. Come on, get up on, get up on the tub. Get up on the tub. Dry hump the tub. Dry hump the, yeah, okay. God, this, this person lives in such a fancy house. Two sinks? Technically three sinks if you count this one. Sort of spoiler hint sinks. Is it the splishy splashy part? Go on, dry hump the water. 
What? UCK what? In the living room, there are eight picture frames. It will appear, it will indicate the special items that will alter outcomes in story here. Don't give up, continue. There are a lot more sinks. But I'm not done with this one. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. As long as you say there's more sinks. Okay, yeah, at some point there was like Bigfoot photo, so I'll wait till we see that again. Yeah, man, that is a clean left hand. I remember when Doom 2 first came out and I heard this particular song thinking like, this feels so weird compared to other Doom music. Like, cause this just has kind of that, kind of that like organ synth in the background and then has like the But now I love it. And I wish it had been like a Guitar Hero song. Yeah, the forearm's something else, isn't it? I don't want to go outside. This game has made me afraid to go outside. Oh wait, did you see that down there? I thought I saw... I saw a blue thing downstairs. Unhand me! Punch the monsters, you got it. Oh, don't give me the shotgun. I was doing other stuff. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Okay. Okay. You figured it out? What did you... It's 7 TV? You're 7 TV. Oh. That's right. I think, so Coffee, I think having 7 TV, wait, I don't know. I can't remember what makes, oh, Pringles is 7 TV. Hold on. I need to add, are you saying, why the fuck would I only add the 7 TV one? How do I add other ones? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Pringles needs to be, <laughs> this is, this is important enough for me to look into right now. Hold on. Hold on, just just one second. Yeah, stop everything. I forgot where I even need to go. BBTV. How do I even log into this? Where am I? Who am I? Log in. Creators. Join BBTV. No, I, no. Oh god, I pushed the wrong button. This is getting worse before it gets better. No, it's BTTV, Josh. You moron. BBTV is a failed, like, content network thing. Oh god, I accidentally closed chat. Everything's getting worse. Hold on. What's my name? Let's Gaming Out? Slash chat? Okay, I see you guys again. Hold on. While I do this here, I'm gonna give you- I'm gonna give you some of the rain. How does that sound? Actually, let's switch it up. Let's turn off the rain, and instead, let's give you what is called Flamethrower. You ready? What am I doing? Or what's going on? Okay, first of all... Here, have this. There you go. Are you seeing it? Are you getting some of the business or no? Okay, I'm gonna take that as a yes. Anyway, so there's a thing called BT... Better T... Better... Better Twitch TV. Good night, Beezleby! Good night, Beezleby! Good night, Beezleby! I'm Batman. Everyone say good night to be the way. Batman. Oh, thank you. That helped a lot, actually, for you to. What is this? What is this fucking shake weight you just said? <laughs> Rohack, what the fuck? Alright, hold on. Okay, there's there's that. There's the Pringles thing. Okay, so let's see. Log in to add to your chat. So this thing called BTTV, which allows you to have like even more emotes. And if you see people just, like, typing random text in, that's usually what it is. Uh, okay. Add a channel? Did that do it? Okay, yeah. Okay, so Pringles should now be on BTTV, but I have to add in individual... 
uh, individual emotes. And there's one called Pringles, and we like it because it looks like a dick. Looks like a big fat cock, and that's why people love it. Sometimes it takes a second. Sometimes you have to refresh. Sometimes. And Yusuke also likes to use the modifiers on it that make it look like a big wide penis, which is obviously an A plus type thing. I know it's to be commended, Josh. Look how great of a job coffee did. Uh, coffee is fucking A plus. A plus, like C's did get degrees, but coffee's gone above and beyond. Because he's the best. Okay, where was I? Back to this. Paintings. That's what we're doing, right? We're looking at paintings, looking at pictures. Well, first we're killing people in the boiler room. But I'm trying not to go too far away or stuff that might change the uh, the landscape just so we can see. Well, I want to see at least a little more stuff before we... Before we... Ah! Uh, not that kind of stuff. But get out of the office area. Right. I should also be humping every everything I can. Josh, I don't think you realize what is happening right now. What do you mean? What is happening right now? Paintings don't exist until blue thing. Go upstairs and collect the blue skull before that interact with the mirror next to it. Blue skull. Blue skull. Blue. Blue. Blue skull. Blue. Blue. Oh shit, I forgot the thing is still on. Sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gonna have to refresh now. <laughs> if you still see it, <laughs> you're gonna have to refresh. <laughs> Look, at least we aren't we weren't aren't being deafened by layered alerts. Does that make it better? I love to because there's some people that just can't see it or they turned it off. And so those people are just like, what's the, what's the problem? Blue skull. I didn't even realize that thing was still going on until I left full screen. I just, okay, I hope Twitch never changes that. That effect that I just, that you kept seeing, if you could see it, is like a thing that's supposed to happen when you, you can set it for alerts, right? So it's like, oh, a hype chat, or a, in this case, it's hype chats, but like, Oh, a hype train's happening, a bunch of confetti, it's a big event. But you can also just send it as a test, which is what I've been doing. And it's... It's just fantastic that that works. I mean, it's also really high, it seems to be really high CPU usage, so it's like there's some obvious downsides to it. But just the fact, like, it even works when I'm offline. What a godsend. What a... What a beautiful feature. What is this feature called? I mean, it's just under alerts. Uh, what is the feature called? Alt-Tab. It's just, it's called Celebration. So if you're wow, like making a- Wow, so long, how strange. Hello! Mayonnaise, <laughs> hello again! Blue Skull. Blue... No! Blue skull. Blue skull. Blue <laughs> skull. Blue woo skull. It works offline. If the streamer's offline and you're just chilling in chat, you'll see. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I should ch test this and see if it works on VODs too. There weren't any VODs to test. But now. Like, I, yeah, I think you have to be, like, if I'm offline, you have to go to my channel, click on the chat button, and just be sitting at an, at that. Where it's like, you have a big video window that's like, stream is offline. Clear the house, collect the weapon from the box in the garage. Collect the weapon from the box in the garage, go to the attic and get blue... 
go. Should I have put it on, like, child difficulty? I only put it on Hurt Me Plenty, which still might be too hard for my... For my geriatric brain. You know, I still live under this notion, though, that I was like, you know, if I wanted to compete in, like, fighting games, I could probably do that. And it's like, I'm never, ever going to test to see if that's actually true, because I don't want to be slammed with reality too hard so that the whiplash actually kills me. I think what I'm going to do instead is buy one of those really fancy fighting sticks that's all buttons, and I'm going to play exclusively with the easiest AI, and then just feel like hot shit. Jump in the mirror. M mirror. Blue. Blue. How does it feel to be a liar? I bet if I try... Oh, God. You know what, you know what I remember this, too, is... Uh, I, I just saw what, what Rex says said, which is... I bet if I tried real hard, I could make it to Silver and Overwatch. I remember when I was in college, and I was like... You know what? I'm gonna get really, really good at Rainbow Six... Whatever the Raven Shield, I think, is the one that was out. And I was like, I'm gonna, I bet I can do this. And I got like an hour in, and I was just like, I fucking hate this game, and I'm never ever gonna be good at it. The hell with this! Skull. Raven Shield was so good. My favorite, th so Raven Shield was like old, it was more like Counter Strike, where it was like a team against another team, and it's like if you get killed, you had to wait till the next round. So I guess it's kind of like. Like, uh, what's it called? The thing. The thing that people like now. What's it called? Rainbow Six. Other thing. I, I don't know why I can't think of the actual one that people are playing right now. Siege, thank you. Jesus. Blue Skull, after there will- after that, there will be a new version of the house that has the mirror showing another- Okay. Okay, 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 gotcha, 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 gotcha. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Why couldn't I just load the one where I was already at that house? Why did I have to- why did- why did you put me through this person who- Uh, the Roaring Noodle who's being incredibly helpful? But anyway, like... I remember I would- it was always like, you know, five on five, I think? And I would always- me and a buddy were always on the same team with three randos. And he and I would always choose the M249 machine gun, which was the only gun you could get in the game that started, I think it had 200 rounds in one clip. I think you had like, by default, you had like that and maybe one other clip. Well, like, you know, you would, most people would choose like a normal gun that has like 30 rounds and is more accurate, but we would choose the machine gun. And the moment the round started, we would just start firing and never stop. And I remember people we were playing with would just be like, they would be, you know, typing in all caps, just, Oh my God! My girlfriend's trying to sleep! Stop! <laughs> and the whole time there's two of us running around just, da -da 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 and like shooting every window, every, everything. Just, da -da 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 and then of course when we were done playing as our last round, we would just murder our whole team and then log off. <laughs> I would like to say it's because we were 19, but I'm pretty sure if he and I played today, nothing about this would change. <laughs> I feel really bad, though, for my roommate that I lived in the dorms with when I was doing this, because it's like, firing the M249 or any machine gun, it was just like constant flashes coming from my screen. The levels are connected, and if you load and save and load, it will mess up your path a bit. I got stuck a few times because of it. Oh, okay, I see, I see. The autosave is fine. Garage, pick up the gun, go to the attic, get the blue... Skull... Blue... Skull... Alright, let me read that again. Garage, pick up the gun, go to the attic. Got it. I don't remember where the attic is, but I'll do it. Hold on, first I need this gun. And I need to kill this- No! Oh god! How did I miss? Okay. Garage... Pick up the gun. Pick up the gun. Pick up the gun. What gun? Did you... Attic. Red door. Is it in the secret laundry room? Give co oh, give coffee mod to access BT. Oh, I absolutely will. I just don't know how. Shoot the cardboard box.
Sorry, sorry, I'll calm down. Wow, you fucking lied to me. You lied to me. You said shoot the cardboard. Shit. Do I not know which one- do I not know what cardboard is? Shoot with the box. Frankly, I think you should shoot- you should focus less and do more wild things. I think this is not shoot, box the shoot. There's an editor setting on the webpage. In Doom? No, I know what you meant. Let the box shoot you. Stop shooting my house. Blue skull and small dog and small room are some of the funniest things. <laughs> what do you mean? So the small dog is in the, is in the use. Oh, uh, ooh, oh. You know, I know that that's an outline for the chainsaw, but I genuinely thought this was clippy. I thought there was a secret weapon that was clippy, like the Microsoft Office clippy. Do you run your TikTok account? Unfortunately, yes. That's why it's not updated very much. Or it's a- yeah, or it's a- there we go, there, now it's a dick. Honestly, that's drawn about as well as the dicks I draw. You good, get the blue skull. The good news is, I don't remember where that is. But I think- okay, so- This, okay, that didn't do it. Hold on. Let me go back outside again. Let's see if I... Wait, wait, what if I, I do this, and then what if I do, like, a figure eight? It's not really a figure eight. I'll just go around it twice. Oh, no! House, come back to me! This, this waist-high wall has fucked me! Help! Help! What do I do now? Help! Well... I guess we just play the rest of Doom 2. Oh, no clip would have been a smart idea. My dear Josh, just continue. What, like in this? Here? This? Just keep doing this? You wanna just play Doom now? Is that what you're saying? Is there more? Wait, are you serious? Just keep playing... Are you lying to me? Is there actually more here? You know what I love, is I genuinely have no idea if you're just fucking with me, and I don't know how... ...how long I'll play before I catch on. I might get like seven... seven or... I might get to the end of Doom 2 and be like, hey, wait a minute. I feel like you were pulling my leg now. Did I get the reds? I didn't get any of the skulls. Skull. That's fine. After all end screen, there's ah, there's something new, something changes. After this, you will get a new version of the house. Oh, oh, that was probably a little overkill. Okay, now do the expansion. <laughs> Trust me, bro. Trust me, bro. If you play Doom Two all the way through and then it starts over and you start playing Doom Two a second time, just trust me, bro. Just keep going with it. Eventually, you'll see what I mean. Trust me, bro. I know. At least we have a super shotgun now. Who doesn't- who doesn't love that? There is so much more to this than I thought there would be. And also, any time to play more Doom is a good time. Yeah, play the- yeah. Once you've played through Ultimate Doom, all the episodes, Doom 2, Doom 3, yes. <laughs> yes. Desert Ice. With the Hello Kitty flashlight mod, and then you just go into- you have to play all the Quakes. The originals and the remasters. And you have to do at least two hours of Quake 3 Arena, and then play Quake 4, and then go play New Doom. <laughs> my- my ass 2016 is great. Yeah, so we gotta play Doom 2016 and then Doom Eternal. Both the Steam version and the Game Pass version. And then also the console versions. Oh yes, you're right, and also Doom 64. Thank you, Beardiation. Yeah, and then Half-Life and Half-Life 2, since they came from the sort that from from the uh from a from an id tech engine. And then you'll really get to experience my house thought one. Should I be rushing through this? Because I'm just leisurely playing Doom the way I like to play Doom. Wait a minute. Where did all you guys come from? 
Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think I might be incompetent. Wasn't that... Did, what? What? Was it... Wait, which Game Pass version? PCX? Oh, you're right. And you know, you also have to make sure to hit up the original Doom that came out on Xbox Live Arcade. Gotta do that one too. Oh, and also, yeah, you're right. Checks Quest and any of the other ones. Is it this way? It was this way. I'm just, I just get lost so easily. You still having fun? I love Doom. Unironically, just adore playing Doom and always have. I feel like this is something obviously only sad, sad old people do. But like sometimes, you know, it's like if I can't think of something to play or I look at my, you know, it's kind of like the, the Netflix problem where it's like you see all the stuff you could be playing and you're just like, oh, this is too much. I'm just going to go watch Buffy for the 50th time. And I feel like that's what happens with Doom. Is rather than play something new, I'm like, I'll just blast through, like, all of episode one. And cry myself to sleep. I'll play MyDoom.Wad. I can't believe I put that on my title. It's finally fucking happening. I'm losing my grip on actual reality. Pardon me, please. Coming through. My house.wad awaits. Maybe. We'll see. And finally, you need to play through every song for you from every Doom OST on DDR and all. Yeah, it can't just be DDR or like Rock Band or... What else is there? What rhythm games do people love to play now? Hey, we're back. You didn't lie to me. Chat, I've, I tr trombone hero, there we go. And Beat Saber, that's the one I was thinking of. Josh, that's not the box. Good job. Yay! Woo! Time to make obnoxious noise everywhere all the time. Yeehaw! I bet this guy really remembers back when his friend was still around and he would just parade through the house with a chainsaw and murder all the guests. Clear the house, then in the attic where you find the skull. Make sure to press use on the mirror to remove the sheet covering. Covering it, excuse me. This allows passage into the mirror world later on. Man, this goes deep. This might be a little excessive. We're just going to keep it up. Okay, I know we need to find the blue skull first. I'm just going to just hit use on everything. Igly sun. Wow, Thank you. Months. Thank you for the resub and Firefly. I have missed this so very much. Thank you for the prime. And Skull, thank you for the gift sub. And why not because thanks for the 10 bits. And again, May Maze, thanks for the thing of a bob. And also Cedrant and Louise and Medi and Fu Oh, and we already okay. Okay. Excuse me. Excuse me, sorry. Sorry, excuse me. Excuse me. Where was the yellow thing? Was it downstairs? Is that where it was? That. Stop! I remember when Doom first came out. We heard the click clack sounds of the double barrel. I remember receiving a pirated copy of the original Doom 2 on a tape drive. Someone gave me a tape with with Doom 2 on it. I remember thinking, wow, this is super awesome. And it was. How old are you? Old. So old. Like a cassette tape? So it wasn't a cassette tape. There was like, they developed like a, I mean, it was still like a magnetic strip that was a tape. But like, it could hold a lot. I mean, it, like, it was better for backups because like it, it took forever to access the data. You could really back up a ton off onto like a tape backup. Like the difference between that and like a floppy disk was insane. Okay, so we got the blue key card. And now. Wait a minute! Okay, where the hell. Okay, I actually can't remember where the attic is. 
I can't remember where the attic is. I thought it was... So, the attic is here, so I have to get the skulls. So first... First I have to... First I have to do this. Then I have to go over here and turn around. You go out, then go back in. Attic is... Oh, or maybe... Do I have to just look at these guys and... Hi. And then look at this guy. And check out that... That fat butt. Google says you're 39 to 40. That is accurate. I was born in 1983, so I think that's why it places me like that. Which is, again, accurate. Yeah. Hold on, let's get it. Because UCGA mentioned it, let's get another, get another nice, juicy look at that backdoor bounce house. There it is. Yeah. Okay, where were we? The attic is now available. All yep, okay, the doors are different. It means we're in we're in a new place with new bad guys, new paintings, new thingamabobs, new pathing, city skylines, exclamation point cities, comes out tomorrow at normal time, which I believe is any is is excuse me. Ducky. The paintings in the living room are important. What are you, a goddamn art dealer now? You probably meant that the design on them is important for later. You picked up an orange school skull, FYI. Desert Eyes, I love that you're like, he might know it, but I should let him know as he runs around barely paying attention. <laughs> I should probably just gently remind him that he picked up an item. Just so he knows. God, did I see a guy back there? Did I see a figure? <gasps> did you see that? <sighs> Look, there's men back there. There's hot guys out there. Folks were talking about you being close to 40, and as it turns out, there's a subreddit that covered- Yeah, I know. That, that I'm lactose intolerant, half Asian, married, rarely shaves. Yeah, I mean, these are all things that I've definitely said. And are all definitely true. So you're saying this painting is important. Oh my god, the hot- yeah, the hot guys that live near me? The hot guys in my area? It's super super creepy that folks keep track of these things. It's it's kind of a, a hard line, I think, between what feels too invasive and what feels like... Like, uh... So, like, I would never, ever call myself a celebrity. Like, when I think of a celebrity, I think of people that are not... Not YouTubers. I think, um... Moist Critical said it best, because he, he did one of those, um... Google... Fill in the the question things, which I think is like a Wired segment. I can't remember which, which channel does this. But like, some one of the questions was like, when did Critical become famous? And his answer was something like, I never did. I'm just the guy that makes YouTube videos. And I was like, that to me is, that feels like a really honest answer <laughs> to me. But I mean, being a celebrity and having some level of popularity are probably different things. I'm curious why you've asked people not to try to find your film career. Um, it's mostly, it's not, it's because it's like, when, when people start searching for stuff, it's like, how far do you go? And it's like, do you start searching their family? And like, it's also one of those things where it's like, if you take a hundred people and they all do this, where they like, search like, they're just curious. They're like, oh, what does this guy look like? What is... What is... What did he do before this? Like, and they, they find out, and they look it up, and they're like, okay, cool. And then they close it all, and they never think about it again. Or they're just like, okay, curiosity satisfied. But for every hundred of those people, if there's one person who, like, doesn't stop there, and, like, finds your address, and thinks there's a personal connection, and all of that stuff, it can start to get real uncomfortable real fast. Which is... You know, it's- I also kind of get how it can feel... 
that was probably a little overkill. But I also, I can understand how those lines can be blurry after a certain point. And it's like, if I can do anything to sort of like, just make it a little bit easier to not approach those blurry lines, I would like to do it. If you've been outside my, I don't think I've lived where I live right now for the past five months. So that would be pretty, pretty impressive. I stand crying outside of your house for one time. Yeah, and it's like, it's, it's kind of, it's, it's a weird, like, just, because obviously at the end of the day, I also, for better or worse, I mean, it, the real truth of it is like, I will never have to worry about this, like, like a lot of women streamers I know do, or, or women YouTubers do, and it's like the, the truer, scarier, shittier thing. But even still, it's like, I don't want people to, like, find out where I live, or like, go visit my family or, you know, it's just like in the, at the end of the day, like nothing good is going to come from it in the sense of like no one became friends that way. So it's it's just not going to pan out well. So it's, I think it's just better to try to avoid it. Blue Skull, we finally did it. Blue. Blue Skull. Blue. Mirror first, okay. Okay. Uh, so excited, it's like a dog. Just, just too excited. Mirror, okay. Go, uh, uh, uh. Oh, mirror in the attic. <laughs> okay. Blue. You mean this one? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. 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 Can I? I want to go in there now. <laughs> I like it. When I get full named, that's how you know it's serious. Yes, Joshua, you finally, you finally managed it. Good, good job. Now you can walk through the mirrors downstairs. My God. Now. God damn that Discord noise. Yes. Did anyone play uh, Duke Nukem? Is there any way to unlearn things about Let's Game It Out? Yeah, you know what? If you, if you, I really do believe, not for everybody, but if you manage to read a piece of something you don't want to know, and you immediately just start looking at other shit and do your best to like ignore that urge to be like, I want to remember this. I want to go over that again in my head. I've had great success with this where I've seen like a spoiler for a game or a movie I haven't seen yet or haven't played yet. And I'm like, I don't want to remember this. Get it out of my head right now. And I just force myself to like really focus on other things. And every time my brain's like, do you remember that? I'm like, no, 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 you don't. Yeah, or just, just pound, pound some gin. Uh. Oh my God, everything feels a little bit warped and weird. Uh, uh. But yeah, I remember in Duke Nukem 3D, you could bust through the... I mean, I think you had to use no clipping to do it. But if you went into the mirrors in that game, there's like a full mirror universe. And that's like how they did the mirror effect in Duke Nukem 3D. But I always thought that was real fun. Did you just kill Tim out? Uh. For the longest time, when I had AOL Instant Messenger... The, uh, the alert noise I had, I changed it to Tim Allen's grunt. So I heard that every single time someone messaged me, which I'm not gonna lie, never got old. And again, I just wanna, actually, you know what? I don't know how I feel about this TV placement, but I feel like, I feel like it's not so bad. Retrieving the milk bottles unlocks the daycare now accessible in the normal reality normalizing my god there's so much it like okay this isn't i agree waterlord this is suboptimal but i think it's a better position for if you're sleeping because you can lay down and look up at the tv just like have it i mean if it's drooping down a little bit that's probably better Have you seen the video of Do have you seen the video of the Doom mod where everything is Tim Allen? I have not. And I'm super into that. Hold on, I alt tabbed and well, you know what happens. 
In this area, hold on, let me scroll back up even further here. Oh, in this area, you can retrieve the wine bottle from the kitchen and the Christmas ornament and milk bottle from the attic, and you are now up to six artifacts. Eight additional artifact icons can be found on hanging. Jesus, allowing you to keep track of status of all... S okay, so hanging pictures in the mirror reality's living room allows you to keep track of status. Okay, okay. God damn. I have the LGIO Opera GX theme, so sometimes when I'm at a friend's place and she's asleep while I'm on my computer, I'll just spam click new tab <laughs> to get a million. Hey, there's Josh. Hey, there's Josh. Hey, just to wake her up so she can glare at me. I like knowing, I hope this person also has no idea who I am, has never seen any of my videos. And so if ever she does, she's just going to be like, oh, I already have such a, such an unhappy association. As a fan of Respotted You in real life based on your voice alone, I feel like your voice stands out pretty well, and you do get millions of views on YouTube. So, not specifically... Uh, not specific Drunk buddy. You know it. Not specifically like that, but, um... I... So, not here, where I live now, but a previous place where I lived, the landlord was having a bunch of work done, and the, the two maintenance guys that came in were, like, younger. They were, like, in their 20s. Um, and they saw, like, my recording setup, and they're like, what do you... I mean, at the time, especially, it was, like, foam padding on the walls, all that sound foam, but also the whole sheet for it. And they were like, what do you do? And I was like, oh, I do, like, YouTube and stuff, and I hide in this little thing for sound. And at the end of the job, one of the guys was like, so my buddy here thinks he knows who you are. And he knew... he recognized who I was, and so I gave them... I gave them merch. I gave them lunch boxes. And, uh, it was- it was pretty cool. And he told me, he was like, yo, I don't know if this is really weird for me to say, but, like, I fall asleep to your videos. And then he and I made the fuck out. No, I mean, I just was like, oh, yeah, no, I think that's pretty normal. And then I- <laughs> I gave him a lunchbox. And then I made that noise. I was like, you recognize me? Oh, and also, if you want one of them lunch boxes, I say, I say, uh, don't, don't, don't wait, because my, my, not yet, but my merch store is actually going to be not shuttering, but sort of transitioning to something else, and a lot of that merch, I think all of that merch is going to be liquidated in some way, shape, or form. So, whatever's there is whatever's there. Same with shirts, same with mugs, all of that stuff. Whatever's in stock is like whatever's in stock. It's not going to get restocked anymore. So if you see something you like in the size you like, and you really want it. Or you can wait and be like, oh, I'll just roll the dice. I don't feel like doing it right now. And then you can check out the store later, find out what you want isn't there, and you can go. Rah! Unhappy about this TV placement. Not gonna lie, you have the same crackhead energy as Florida Man. Is Florida Man actually one singular person? Use all the sinks. Is this what you meant? TV should be in bed with you. Why aren't there sinks in here? Just stupid paperwork. God, Florida Man is Nebula's entity. What I first saw that as, Jim Toaster, is Florida Man is a new Biles entity. <laughs> that was just, my brain immediately was trying to make sense of that. And I was like, this has got to make sense somehow. I just need to really stick with it long enough. I have to commit to this and see if I can figure it out. I have to go. Blah Black, thank you for sticking around. Thank you for making that your first message to let me know you have to go. Hope you have a great evening, or day, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. I assume it's day somewhere. I mean, I can't know this because I live in America, which means, in my mind, nothing outside of America exists. Sink. You guys lied to me. I have to poop. Coffee, thank you for letting me know. It's really important that I know this information. Sink in regular worlds. <gasps> oh my god. 
Oh, good golly, Miss Molly. Need more sinks. Hi, Full Metal Vanity. Even though your your message got caught up in auto mod, I still see it. Great, I joined and Jash is already fisting a sink. Yo. Okay, be honest. If you had a sink full of water, wouldn't it feel kind of good to just, like, give a little slippy slap? Did you get the milk from the Mirror Universe? Filling up all the sinks will get you the ducky in the bathtub. Okay. 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 Mirror universe, why can't I fill up those sinks? Also, can I just leave the house from here? Can I just go home in the mirror universe? Oh, I'm so turned around. Oh, I'm so tempted to just leave. I just want to do it. Okay, we're doing it. Didn't even say, oh, I didn't get the milk. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, everybody. <laughs> the intrusive thoughts won again. I'm gonna be an egg. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sleepy sleep, by the way. Thank you for giving a gift. So, ooh. Oh. Oh my god, I'm not, you know, I, I wouldn't mind playing all of, oh, actually, I take it back. I was gonna say I wouldn't mind playing all of Doom 2 backwards, but it's already fucking with my muscle memory. Like, I know that the red door is usually over here. Ah! Wait, did I push it? Okay. Okay. But this is a, a fresh take on an old classic, especially now that everything is blue and uncomfortable. And has kind of a kind of a fun polka feel to it. I guess I don't need to be shooting all of these guys. I should just rush through this so we can get back to my doom slash house dot wad. Oh god. Try to go to the left when it's over to the right now. Ah! Okay, listen, I'm just gonna tell you, it's really fun to make that noise. I'm doing it more for me than for you. How? What noise? Uh, that one. Sorry, wife. <laughs> Who's probably at home now, just trying to have a nice time. And all she hears is. Uh, easy. 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 I forgot. I forgot I have to go over here. I am loving this. I realize this is just Doom right now, backwards. And if you never play, and it's also dark and kind of annoying to watch. But Wait, boy, am I, I having a great time. I might die, actually. Cool story. Megus Masters, thank you for the resub. Wait, didn't I do my 20? You might have done it earlier, and then it's. I don't know. I don't know how Twitch works. Dare I cheat and just walk to the end? I feel like that's like both in the spirit and not in the spirit of doing the thing. You can't cheat and no clip to the end. You mean I literally can't? Or I shouldn't? I wasn't even thinking about no clipping. I was just going to get cheats don't work here. It's about the journey, not the destination. My reflection winked at me. I covered the mirror in the attic just to cope. There's no good outcome from... Okay, fine. What about if I just do this? God damn it. Oh, wait, no, that worked. Okay. Ha-ha! That'll teach you. Okay, where was I? No clip. Okay. <laughs> Save before no clip. Too late. What do you mean, wow? Is it all fucked now? It will ruin you? 
Well, I didn't... I don't want a no clip here. I just wanted a no clip to get back here. Wow, I feel like... This feels like kind of like in a Symphony of the Night when you discover that there's like... You think you're really close to beating the game and you discover you're not close to beating the game. This feels like that. And this soundtrack is, as Quiet would say, lit. Litty. How do I get to him? Yeah, you're not close to 100%. I assumed that I'm not close to 100%. I feel like there's a lot more. There's a lot more for us here. Do you cheat for your YouTube videos, or can I trust the title cards? The title cards are accurate. I will say there are times... I actually cover this in the, in the video I'm working on right now. Um, I actually, like, go into, like, not a lot of detail, but I use an auto-clicker for something in this in the game I'm working on. And so I talk about auto-hotkey, and I show very briefly, like, the script I make for it. So, I'm not hiding the fact that I'm using, like... Like, sometimes I use, like, auto-hotkey, which lets me, like, make little scripts to, like, you know, execute command, like, key, like, repetitive things over and over again so that I just don't have to do them. Because otherwise I'm gonna, like, hurt my wrists. It's, like, one of those kinds of things where it's less that I don't want to spend the time doing it and more it's gonna be very fatiguing on my, on my, on my delicate little hands. Are you aware that the usage of an auto-clicker is a vile? I don't care. Yeah, so like fishing in Hydranir, I set up a script to run overnight. And like, so basically my rule of thumb when it comes to stuff like this is like, if you're gonna do something like no, that, not. it needs to be to save time, not to cheat an idea. So like, if, I w if the whole point of the video was to make a lot of money and I just cheated in the dollar amount, I think that that's probably over the line. But if you use an auto clicker to save your sanity from getting from like your arm hurting from just sitting there and clicking then it's probably a little okay to do that but like the i mean and there's also th some things like in hydroneer i absolutely sat there and dug every single fucking hole on that one where i like did the plants couldn't fake that i mean i certainly would have if i could but i couldn't so i sat there and just just did it for hours and hours and hours you know what I like? I'm getting to that point with this with this mod where like my brain is slowly turning to mush. And I'm like, I don't even remember what I've done yet, or who I am, or what a mirror is. And I feel like that's that's the great that's the great place to be with a mod like this. I love that you put that much effort into your videos. I mean, that's also part of like, you know, that's, that's part of the charm, hopefully, is the amount of effort that goes into them. Go through the mirror, get the milk, come back, fill sinks, get the ducky. Okay, I'm gonna do that, but I might, that might be where I call it, just because it has been a lot longer than I was imagining. I watched that stream where you dug some of the holes. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I, it took so long to dig those holes in Hydranir that I actually did what I never do, which is I, like, showed it on stream. It was like, we're all gonna watch, we're all just gonna do this together because I want to stream, but I can't, I can't not keep doing this or else I'm never, ever gonna finish. Because that, that task took so many, like, just days of sitting there. I forgot what I was doing. Was I going up here? No, I need to go through the... Go through the mi milk, milk, thank you, milk, 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 milk. I need to go in the mirror realm, don't I? Milk. Well, now I feel bad for never ha no, no, no. If you don't, also, if there's like a video you don't like, like if you don't like the entire Hydranir series or something like that, like you don't need to watch that. You don't need to watch that garbage. Milk, milk, wine, milk, toast, milk. Mirror first, then milk. Where was the milk again? Milk. What video took the longest to make? Uh, what do you usually do when you're grinding out hours and hours for one video? So what video took the longest to make first? I want to say... Hmm. 
Wine bottle from the kitchen and the Christmas ornament and milk bottle for okay. From the attic. Got it. Um I'm trying to think if anything took longer than that Hydraneer video, because that really did take a long time. Oh right, this thing, the Christmas ornament. And then there's the blue skull. Milk! We got it. I forgot how to leave. <laughs> Where's where is it? How do I get out of here? You tricked me. How the fuck do I get out of here? Oh no, it's right there. I just can't see. <laughs> I just can't see shit. Yeah, I want to say that Hydraneer one took a really long time. What? I feel like there was a one that previously held the record. I guess it depends on how you look at it. There was one video where I started a process and I let it run unhindered for three weeks. But I wasn't actually playing it, like, which was, um, good company. Which is, I set it to do a thing. It might have literally just been sitting there. Letting time go by and letting things build up. But I, like, had it running on a separate computer and I made, like, two other videos in the meantime and then came back to it. The Satisfactory Tornado didn't take that long. I mean, it comparatively to other things. But, uh, what do I do while I'm- while I'm doing these repetitive tasks? Sometimes I'll- I'll usually watch, like, a TV series. Like, recently I blasted through all of Star Trek Voyager. Which, to be clear, I'm not spending very much time looking at it, but it's just on all the time. But I can't do that with shows I haven't seen before. So I have to do it with something that I've seen enough times that I just don't care. Go back to the normal world, you got it. Do you watch Star Trek Lower Decks? I've seen some of it, and I really liked it, and I need to go back and actually catch up on it. So I think I've seen like four or five episodes, and- No, wait, I think I've seen the whole first season. Oh, Rubber Ducky! No, wait, Christmas ornaments. Oh, I see, I see, we've changed the house a little bit. Because now there's Christmas ornaments all over the place. Does that mean in the attic there's a baby now? I miss the Voyager Doctor. Me too. Blue Skull. After Ducky, follow the trail of colored balls to the bedroom closet. Fall down the yellow tube. Follow the trail of colored balls to the bedroom closet. Is this a bedroom closet? No. Dude, look at the picture frames. I don't... You mean this one? You mean that one? Is that the picture frame you're looking at? You mean the... Oh, I see. It's showing me the two whole things I got. What happened to my wine? There we are. What? Wait, what? 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 Oh. Got the duck. Go back. Go back and get the duck. You got it. You gotta get the duck first. Missing one sink. Where's the sink? Oh wait, is it the one in the uh is it the one in the garage? No wait, must not be because I can't get over there. Okay. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Sink? Sink? Trash can? Ooh. I didn't realize I could be up here. Sink? If I Okay, I know I can't go down there yet. Sink? Sink. 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 Did I not get all the sink? Sink in modern room. What? What do you call a modern room? This room? Is this the modern room? 
This room? What is sink? Who is sink? Modern house room. <laughs> Modern room, you know, the one next to the Iron Ages room. Is the music going... At this point, I'm like, well, I know the music is actually changing, but a piece of me is like, is it? Or am I just... Am I just finally becoming actually unhinged? The sink is... No, the sink is not the friends we meet along the way. A modern room... Okay. Chat keeps giving different directions for different things. Try focusing on one thing at... Well, that's never gonna happen. That's Twitch chat. That's like asking for tech support help. Oh, this room. Or not. In the basement, the bookcase by the pool table takes him to the modern room. Is this the modern room? <laughs> Pepsi! This modern room? This one? I have to do the sinks here too? God, this game is so goddamn needy. Okay. Ooh, a milkshake. Love ice cream! Okay, now let's head back. Okay, now I understand that you are correct that this is indeed a modern room, and also... I feel like I hit every single door in the face possible. Where? Now I've already forgotten where the bathtub was. Or even what a bathtub was. Was it not over there? Am I losing my mind? Oh, here it is. Bathtub. Oh! It may put that there. Now... Okay. I like how now I see you can sink. It will alt it will alter the map. Oh, I can go up. Oh, I didn't realize. I thought I was. <laughs> oh, oh, fiddlesticks! Now we've done it. Now it's like now it's like we're playing City Skylines all over again. We just adopted a puppers yesterday and got to name her. The first choice was going to be pizza. Then we were going to call her Bunt Cake. These are all good names, Dan. So proud of you. Thank you, Anger Management. Oh. Dag nabbit. Look at that. We made a mess of everything. Yeah, now my, so my little sockies are all wet. Can I please get some more Johnny Hotbody, please? Johnny po Hotbody shows up from time to time. You never know. Okay, okay, oh, is this gonna let us, yeah, we're just gonna slide down this? Nope, still stairs. Ow. Okay. Okay, let's see, where was it again? It was, uh, it was, it, yes, over here. Then in, into the Mario pipe that I think was here, right? Was I wrong? Wasn't there a pipe in here? Surprise you- God damn it! Uh, uh, uh. Hello? Everything's- so hard to move around in with my wet socks. Oh good, it's like Tetris blocks. I feel at peace again. Who said that? Who's done this? Uh, can you just chill? Chill! I'm trying to enjoy things. Back off, cum ghost. Save the game. Okay, fine. 
So my doom wad was a virus. Well, my doom was the name of a virus, not specifically my doom wad. In the bathhouse, kill the nightmares, then stand on the gray platform to the left of the sky hole. Go under the archway and turn left. I, I absorbed none of that. Hold on, let me read that again. Ah, oh, shit, it's off the page. Hold on. Hold, hold tight. Kill the nightmares, stand on the gray platform to the left of the sky hole. My wad is dangerous. Kitchen, <laughs> thank you. You mean like this? This archway? Did I do it? Did I do it right? Did I stand on the thing right? Sky hole? Did I not save? I didn't save. That's what I like to see when things just go off the side like that. So wait. Go... And jump down the hole? Is that what you wanted me to do? Oh no, we're back here? Can I load? Is it, is it gonna, is it gonna break everything if I load? Once in the locker room, <laughs> once in the locker room, immediately turn right and follow the path. Is this the locker room? Is this the one you meant? <laughs> Welcome to the Gulag Lal. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> think you fucked it. I think I did too. I actually... Okay, so obviously there's... There's a... Uh, God, this mod's really fucking cool. I think I am gonna call it here though. Just because... It's been about seven hours. I think that's... That's, that's probably my point. That, that's probably my stopping point right now. Wait. Oh, right, there's no TTS. I was sitting here waiting for it. Just finished uni. I honestly say I couldn't have done it without your streams keeping me sane on the endless nights of revisions. Thank you and blah, 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 blah. You're welcome, carbonated milk. Really appreciate that. Thank you for the 300 bits. Super pack, thanks for the bits as well. Johnny Hotbody, thank you for the resub. Burn to dead is a frog. Thank you for the resub. Empire. Hello, Empire. Empire! Good, good buddy, Empire. Another good buddy streamer friend of mine. Hilarious guy. Thank you for the message of Urmouth Hot. The Jabberwocky, thank you for the Prime. And also Roaring Noodle, thank you for being essentially my game facts. I appreciate that. Well done, Josh. Conti please continue to play my... It went off the page. Hold on. And I'm like afraid. I'm, I'm constantly afraid to, uh, to alt-tab because it stops everything. We're going to do it anyway. Love the video since you started out. Glad I could help. Yeah, I really appreciate the help. Thanks for a great stream. Again, the earlier part was sponsored by City Skylines, so don't forget it comes out tomorrow. So if you're like, what? Remember that game? You could be like, oh, I got PC Game Pass. I could check it out. You're like, oh, I want to buy it. And you can buy it. <laughs> Those are your options. Or you can watch people stream it. Or some combination of the two, stream. but don't forget. Learned a lot today. Like big dogs in big rooms. Oh my goodness, my cup runneth over. Yes. Yeah, small dog means small room. Long drive stream? Probably not super soon, Terry, but but because you keep at because you've requested it, specially requested it, I'm gonna have to reconsider the next time I do it. But we shall see. Okay, let me see. Let me see who is online. Let's stick there, that's much better to look at. Alt tab, please. <laughs> Thank you. Here, have this. There you go. There you go. Let's see who. Who is on. Online. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's go. Let's go raid Mr. Will Shand. Okay, so so I, <laughs> I feel like the kinds of people I watch, I have to give some kind of disclaimer. Not because they're bad, because they're not. I love them. So Will Shand is one of my favorite streamers. Um, 
He's super chill. He's super duper chill. Very relaxed guy. I think you'll you'll know pretty quickly if you like them or don't like them. And I don't mean it like You'll see what I mean. They're they're a lovely person, but they also you're immediately gonna be like, why is he so close to his mic? And it's like you just just embrace it because it's great. Because he's a great guy and he's super funny. Uh super chill. And um I hang out in there a lot, but you know, to please please don't go to other people's streams and start talking to me. It's just it's really uncomfortable to like we should all be there for the streamer that we're there for. So that's that's my general disclaimer. Uh, but yeah, I, I think he's a great dude, and uh, it's a great place to just chill and vibe. Super fucking funny, dude. Oh my goodness, dude. my cup runneth over. Yes. And Joe, thank you for the five gift subs, and then five more gift subs. All right, let me start the raid here. Let me think of what else I can say. Uh, he plays, like, low-budget horror games. Geo face. And he has a ton of really esoteric alerts that I love. But in general, the thing I, I really appreciate most about him is he's really funny, and I also think he's really quite intelligent, and also he's really good at conversation, which I really value when it comes to streamers, that they, like, they do their job and they interact with chat. He's super good with that. He, yeah, he also lives in a spaceship. He's out doing space stuff. He does space missions. But yeah, so I never have a raid message. My whole thing is just please be nice. Be nice. Don't be super annoying. Also, I should point out, I think the demographic for his stream is like <laughs> it's like 30 to 40. So if you feel that that applies to you or you feel like you can vibe with that, <laughs> you're probably going to enjoy it. But what I'm saying is if you're part of my audience that's like 14, you may or may not vibe with it. That's that's what I'm saying. So there you go. Thank you for joining me on this stream. Hope you had fun. I know I did. Enjoy Will Shand. I can't stress enough how much I think he's an awesome dude and a great streamer. I look up to a lot of the ways he streams. Okay, bye.